and welcome back to another Pokemon card live stream. It's Wednesday night, right? It's Wednesday night. Hold on, let me look. It's Wednesday night, Thursday morning. How's it going, everyone? We're a little bit late. We're about a half hour late. That's because I was laying down with Quip and watching some TV. Oh, man, look at this camera. Holy. Oh, my gosh. Does the camera never sit straight? There it goes. How's it going, everyone? You guys having a nice night? Look at this. It's breaking. Oh, my gosh. My camera stand is breaking. I don't know what to do about that, guys. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. It's breaking. I don't know what to do. The camera stand doesn't stand up anymore. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm still holding it. Hold on. So what if we do this? Oh, no. The camera stand doesn't... like. So it's, it's like these... Hold on. What's up, Liam Burrows? Is that it? Is it going to stay? Tell me it's going to stay. We can't have the stream if the stand doesn't sit. Oh, no, it's breaking. <laughs> oh, no. See how it's just moving down on its own? It's not, it's not holding the position that I'm putting it in. That's no good. Shoot, man, I better put it in order for another camera stand ASAP. <laughs> All right. After this live stream, after this live stream, I have to put in an order for a camera stand. This one is falling apart. Excuse me. I had my dinner there at like last minute. Whew, what a nice night it was, guys. Holy. Amazon Prime it. All right, I'm Amazon Prime it. Uh, in the uh, TikToks today, I was joking around because everyone was claiming that I was grading energy cards. And in fact, I have graded energy cards before, but these were by accident. I didn't mention that, but I was just messing with them. Look at this. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Who would grade this? Ooh, how much were the slabs? Yeah, so this is a, a VG3 fighter energy. Very collectible. Technical issues, Mike. What? What's up, William Pear? So let me talk about my day, guys. Wow, what a nice day. My wife and I went out to the lake at like 8 p.m. So it was already sundown, basically. It was already getting dark out. And we stayed out there until 11 p.m., which is just an hour before the stream starts. That's why we're a little bit late. And uh, it was pretty nice. And we actually did go skinny dipping, by the way. We took all of our clothing off and went swimming in the lake. Nobody else was around, even though it was a big lake full of houses, but nobody was out. It was just totally private. And the water, the water was so hot. It was like being in a hot tub. The water's so, it's like 85 degrees. That's the temperature of the water. So the water was actually warmer than the air. It was crazy. Even though the sun was down, the sun was down and you climb into the water and it's like climbing into a sort of chilled off hot tub. You know, it's not like scaldingly hot. Hot tubs get really hot, right? But it's like at least as warm as taking a, a good bath, right? And so we just floated in the water for hours, man. There was there was no reason to leave. And the sky got really dark and you could see all the, the stars out. It was so surreal. And uh, yeah, it was really, really nice. Very private too. You know what I mean? So it was... It was uh, yeah, it's an experience for sure. The water takes longer to cool and heat up. That's right, Jonathan Garcia. So the sun went down and that water it was just like boiling hot anyways. Because it's very hot outside. Shirzad says, hey, how many people left for UFC prison box break? Uh, I don't think anyone has bought a spot on the box break for the UFC prison. Right now, we're trying to get um, this XY base set done. And I tell you what I'll do after we're done getting this split open. I'll focus more uh, energy into selling off those two other boxes, okay? But here's what they look like. We have the NFL Optic with Nicholas and Kelby. And then we have the UFC Break with Shirzad and Kelby. So these have not been selling off, probably because there's so much going on right now. EV Heroes came out, Chilling Rain's around the corner. You know, I'm doing this XY base set. So there's, you know, there's only so much money. 
and everyone's getting into all kinds of different things. And so I, that's probably causing the boxes to sell off a little slower. Ghost Smuggler says the large was already opened. That's not true. It's, a, it's the same large and it's very close to the end, actually. Let's see. Sean Leon has spot number 23, which means there's six spots left in the large and the, a new large begins after that. And uh, we'll have new slabs in there. Fancy slabs. Mr. Needs to lick the mic. Did you see the screw up with the Pokemon Center ETBs? I did not. Pokemon Center had a screw up. What they do? Give too many ET ETBs? Mr. Doesn't sound 100% today. All good, Mr.? I am all good, just very uh, comfortable. Basically, instead of going to bed, I climbed over here and started the live stream. So everything's perfectly okay. And I am 100% 100% sleepy. Pokemon messed up the Chilling Rain ETB pre-orders. Oh, that sucks. He, they were supposed to have 10 packs, but they have 8. Oh, no. That's, uh, that's sucky. Dang, man. Well, that's like losing quite a bit of the box. Mister, did you see the Fed came out with a 4.5% expected inflation? That's uh, more than double the normal amount. That's crazy. I wonder how that'll affect the stock market. You think it'll affect it at all? They put eight packs in the ETBs, sold too many packs, and are replacing them with eight packs. Whoa. Why the pictures are not as crisp? Lens needs to be cleansed. Uh, I saw the lens earlier. I think it's the lighting, actually. It is quite crisp. It's as crisp as it ever is. I think it's just the lighting, guys. I've had a few people mention that to me. I think it's kind of like a blurry lighting, if you could believe that. Yeah, lighting can be, like, blurry. Camera's still moving? <laughs> Making sure the camera's not still moving. Look, see how my hands are over here? That's because even though this appears to be in the center of the screen, it's not. The camera's off this way. And that's because the camera's at the top of the, uh, the camera's at the top of the phone, right? So the phone sits on its side. So here are my arms around the, uh, I got my arms around the base of the camera holder and they appear to be on the right side of the, uh, the uh, screen. They're sending everyone two bonus packs and one of each of the Galarian birds from the set. Oh, well, that's really nice. Tyrell says, make sure you check that the stream is at 720p as well. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it is. I, I, it's not like I changed the settings to be lower uh, uh, quality, right? Mr. Alex says, any free packs? We still have the ongoing giveaway for this Naughty Grimer valued at $300. That's the cheapest buy now price for this card, a highly collectible vintage card. I've been talking about him nonstop. Uh, this is night number two. In night number three, which is tomorrow, that's when we're going to give them out. Anyone who hasn't uh, registered for the giveaway, it's very simple. The instructions are at the top of the description. You simply click on a link to another video and leave a comment. That's all you got to do. Uh, you also have to be subscribed in order to win. And then uh, somebody will collect this very nice card. He's so naughty. Mr. Adam says, my cards arrived yesterday. Japanese cards look so much nice. So much nicer and better quality. Oh, speaking of which, uh, speaking of Japanese cards, I forgot about this. Ugh. So, this is what the junk box looks like. The junk box is a brand new thing. This is only the second junk box I've ever made. And here's what it looks like. Just all the cards. There are a few English cards I toss in there for fun, I guess. Uh, but mostly Japanese and some Dragon Ball, probably some ponies in there somewhere. So this, the standard price is $17 unless somebody offers more than 17 because if there's two people who want it, um, it's going to go to whoever offers more. So that is a junk box and this one's full. I've got to go set it to the side and start a new one. It's not quite full. I'll probably add a little more to the top. So anyways... Yeah, the standard price is 17 Don't offer me 17 and a penny. You offer upwards of a dollar, you know what I mean? I think that's how it works on eBay as well. But that's only if you want it. If you don't want it, don't buy it. It is a junk box. The name of it is the junk box because it's full of junk. So let me toss this over here. Let me tell you something. Let me have a sip of my drink too, man. I'm, so, I'm thirsty. Very thirsty, apparently. Let me make a new junk box. Now, somebody did try to buy that one, but I actually, actually uh, rejected his payment because it would cost me too much to ship to him. 
he was in Hawaii and the shipping was going to be crazy. So I unfortunately I had to turn him down. Alright, that is a fresh box. We're ready to fill it up with junk. Woo! Hey, don't look at those bags. Look at these lovely pokies. There it is again. It's it's kind of uncentered. What is... It's so hard to get this camera just right. Oh, man. I'm going to have to get a new... I got to get a new camera holder, guys. This is terrible. <laughs> is shipping too much for Australia? Uh, for the junk box, yes. For regular cards under 8 ounces, no. If you add a graded energy, I'll buy for 30. <laughs> Tell you what, let's jump over to the PayPal's and see if anyone wants to open any pokies tonight. It's just a regular night, but that's all right. Another pokey night. We've had a lot of pokey nights. All right, here we are. We're logging back in. I ordered Chilling Rain yesterday. So Chilling Rain is on the way. Somebody get a Gem Heroes. They're so expensive now. All right, here we are, here we are. I think that was from yesterday night. Is it? Wait, is this from tonight? No, 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 this is from earlier today, I see. So the first order of the night is Jonathan Morris. Wow, he says two live custom boosters and six EV heroes. All right, Jonathan Morris. Jonathan Morris, let me just try to get this camera a little bit better. There we go. You know, I've got so many things I can work on when I'm not, not live. I end up just hanging out with my wife. So pack number one is going to be these two packs together. Pack number two is going to be whoop, a cold Orangaroo. Hmm, okay. Well, maybe these, this shiny star will be warm. Somehow I got this paper cut on my hand. I don't know where that came from. Yeah, that was burning in the water. So six EV illusions. Six EV heroes. Just put Chilling Rain out early. STY a gas station. Wait. I stop at after work. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got Pokemon cards at the gas station? Is that what you said? Mister, did you talk about the explosion in Ozark already? There was an explosion. What's up, Big Smiley? I, I've not talked about that. What was it? I, I didn't hear about that. There was an explode. Oh, no, man. I can't do it. I can't handle it. This camera keeps falling over. Oh, no, guys. I'm really struggling. There we go. Stay. <laughs> Tell us about it. I didn't hear about an explosion in, in Lake of the Ozarks. There was an explosion. Sneep. Lake of the Ozarks or Ozarks? Because I know those two... He says, yeah, boat explosion. Mr. Explode in the lake, maybe. Audio only stream, mister. We would all be down. Six people injured. What? I did not hear about that. Give me the details. Here's Marshado. A boat explosion. It was a boat at Lake of the Ozarks. Wow. Dude, that sucks, man. Because people come out here for like their vacation and for like special family bonding time. They do not come out here for self-destruct. Boat used self-destruct. Mister was skinny dipping when it happened. I didn't hear an explosion. Here we go. What do we got for matchless? Cold. Ah, the shiny star. My wife and I were skinny dipping. That is that was a real thing that happened earlier today. Here we go. There you go, Mister. That's a big hit. Goldenization. Beautiful. Definitely want to grade that one. And also Lapras VMAX. Do you have a slabbed VH VHS promo? What? I have um, a Bulbas uh, no, Squirtle. Yeah, I said that right. Bulbasaur Squirtle deck. You heard your own explosion. Cold. Maybe. Double hitter. What? Here's Glaceon. Woo, Glaceon. Glaceon. It should be titled Skinny Dipping in Lake of the Ozark. <laughs> All right, so these are junk. Into the junk box. 
Woohoo! And that's trash. So this goes to Mr. Jonathan Morris, who says he does have a bag. All right. All right. I'm so hypers. Oh, Mr. Jonathan. Oh, Mr. Ooh, I'm like burping up sodas and dinner. <laughs> okay, now we've got Brian Ochoa. I'm back. One spot, one spot in the large and one live custom, Mr. Brian Ochoa. What's up, Brian? Good luck, mister. Oops. Price on the junk box. So the default price is $17, but each night I only have one box, and so uh, people have the option to offer a dollar more or so to try and be the one who uh, takes the box home if the demand is that high. So I'm 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 basically just offering at a price where the the uh, shipping is taken care of and I make like a, a buck or two selling it. However, if somebody really values it, they're allowed to offer more. All right, here we are. Here we are, Brian Ochoa. This is this is to make sure like a big line doesn't form of people just waiting for a box to be made. You know what I mean? Okay. Next up, we got. Oh wait, 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 wait. The live custom. Sorry about that, Brian. I was thinking about his question. Brian Ochoa. Boop. Explode. Ah, that's a cold one, man. Sorry, Brian. So, Brian Ochoa. I have a small bag, Brian says. Brian, you're not supposed to tell her that your bag is small. You're not supposed to say that, man. Oh, man, these boxes are so full. Carl, Carl. So, I think you're down on the table. These boxes full of the Pokemons are so full. Look. It's because we started giving out hollows. Now the, the bags all fill up way too fast. Benjamin, Bradley, Christopher, Brendan, Brian Nguyen, Brian Brogan, Brandon, Clifton, Christopher Bell, Christian Torado, Claudia... Where is it, Brian? Ben Ben, Chris Garcia, Colton Maxi, Chris Garcia. Where's Brian Ochoa? He said a small bag. You trying to pull tricks on me? There's Yugi's in it, he says. Hmm, that's a good tip. Let's try up here real fast. Here's some small bags up here. Okay, none of these. How about these over here? What even are all these bags? They just sit here all, all the time. Here we go, Brian Ochoa. Mr. Brian, and here are your two carts. Sweet. It's not the size of the boat. That's what they all say. Psh. Next up, we got Justin. He says, Mr., I'd like two XY Evos. What's up, Justin? Justin. What are these? Hello, I've entered the oh, I've entered the giveaway. Very good. Mr. Send cards to CGC before they close. Is CGC gonna close? Oh no. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. That's a good point, actually, Alex. Maybe I'll do it really soon now. Now that you've said that. Gyarados! Oh, mister! How much are the Evos? Uh, two dollars. All right, Gyarados and Ratata. And Psychic Energy, Psychic Tandem Warrior Elephant. Is it Elephant Warrior? Might be Elephant Warrior. What do we have here? Revive, Drowsy, Charmeleon. Wow. CGC is only accepting MLP from July 1st. <laughs> Well, that's no problem for all my bronies. Think you should get that card graded? That energy card graded? That's right. Grade that energy card. Justin Huerta, let's find your bag. Could you be in the JU box? Quick, send in all the energy cards. Here we are, Justin Huerta. All right. All right. 
Let me turn up this Pokemon music real fast. So tonight we have all Pokemon game themes. Turn it up a little more. All right. I have joined the giveaways. This is Eccentric Clan. Sounds good. Try and fix this camera still. Can't find one to complete my what? I won the giveaway, yeah. Mister, would you say is a high pop count? Did you say what? what's a high pop count? I don't know. Two bazillion? Alex, PSX says four XY Evos. Wow. I got you two right here. Well, well, well. I need to go get more XY. I'll be right back, everyone. I'll be right back. chair here dude this little space is too small all right pretty sure evo just got a fat reprint that's right mister do you have lucky stadium trainer i do i don't have that one Mr. Where's Dark Blastoise? I don't know. Where'd he go? He's somewhere. I don't know where he went. Mr. How do I become a member? Well, there should be a membership button that you can click. If not, check the description for a link for the membership. Snip. Snip. All right, we got it all snipped up. Woohoo! Mr. Can I have a smooch? Smooch! Mr. Alex PSX, let's see what you pull. <gasps> it's Kakuna! He uses Harden. Ugh! He's so hard now. Mega Venusaur. Look at that. Stiffen. <laughs> Another! It's Metapod! Kakuna and Metapod, and they both know Stiffen. Holy. Alex. Alex getting very stiff. Boop. Pack number three. Here's Polly Swag. Hmm, okay. He looks really well centered. And still no Charizard, huh? Full heel. All right, let's see. What do we got? Charmeleon. Magmar. Pikachu! Oh, baby. Alright. Just the Pikachu and the Charmeleon. Alright. They're not the craziest pack, but you pick up Mega Pidgeot and you pick up the Mega Vena... Uh, yeah, I said that right. Mega Venusaur. So, it's not terrible. Here you go, Mr. Alex PSX. Do you think there's going to be a reprint of old sets like Hidden Fates? What are you talking about? Hidden Fates isn't even old. Hidden Fates is not old. Of course they're going to reprint it. Mr. Alex, did we ship you? I don't think we shipped you. Oh, here we go. Alex PSX. He says, get ready for my next order. Oh, Alex. Holy... Okay, next up, we got Jack Gray. He says, can I have a Battle Styles? I received my package. Thanks for that. Do -do -do. All 
All right, so Jack Gray had a question about shipping. Mr. Jack Gray, if you don't mind, could you copy and paste that into a message on Discord? I see what you're trying to say. You're trying to... You would like for me to keep your slabs and give you spots in the large? Is that what you said? So, Mr. Jack Gray, um... I'd, I'd need time to do research on your order. You might have multiple packages on the way, and one of them might have gotten to you before the others. I don't actually know what slabs you might have over here either. One of the things is when I ship your card, I don't keep track of what's been shipped. So you might have some slabs over here. There is a way to sell your slabs to me. You can sell your slabs for store credit, especially if you throw out an offer that I think is pretty interesting. So there is a way to get store credit off of uh, slabs you have. What hip-hop song is this? It's uh, an older Pokemon song. All right, so he said one battle styles, right? Here you go, mister. One battle styles. Here we go. Basically, I'm not sure if you ship two boxes, one with my bag, one with my slabs. Yeah, I'd, I'm not sure either what's been shipped, so I would need to research what's gone out. If you received a box with no slabs in it and you're expecting slabs... Uh, it's very possible that it's in another box on its way over uh, because sometimes when an order is too heavy, especially for international, what I'll do is I'll split it into two smaller packages because that's actually cheaper than shipping one very heavy package. So that could be going on. It's also sometimes safer to ship that way. Uh, I would need to see like, I would need to see the shipping history for you basically. And so if it was sent in two packages, you might have received one and the other one's still in transit. But see, I don't know that. All right, Mr. Jack Gray. Mr. Jack. James says, that just makes no sense. Yeah, I have no idea why it works that way either. But basically, after a certain weight threshold, uh, the price is so expensive, it would be cheaper to send in two smaller packages. And that's just how it works. <laughs> I do all kinds of research to, to try and figure out the cheapest shipping methods. Edwin Acosta, he says, one spot in the large. He's smelling blood in the water. He thinks it's almost time for the large to start. And he's like, time to jump in, bitches. All right. You guys will notice that this round of the large occurred much faster than the old round, the previous round, uh, the one that had the Umbreon Espeon. And that's because the... Live custom boosters hand out many hand out many more spots for the large these days. Okay, next up we got Cody Rogers who says another spot in the large. Good luck, Cody Rogers. Now, just a reminder to everyone who's in here: most people will simply pull a holographic card worth less than one dollar, and then three very lucky guys, just three out of twenty-nine. Just three guys will pull the extremely valuable slabs. Everyone else's money was used to pay for those slabs. That's exactly how it works. Michael Cusick says two spots in the large. You got it, Michael. Apparently, the name of the game tonight is let's get the large done. All right, so that's 27 and 28. It looks like it will finish tonight, and that means I will take a minute to go and make up the uh, the booster packs for this custom booster box. All right, that's M. Cusick. Kara Nichols says, too vivid. You got it, Miss Kara Nichols. Let's see what's in here. Woo, I'm so hyper, mister. I can't wait to get the best pokies. All right, Dustnor, and pack number two, just a bonnet this time. Dustnor bonnet. Ooh. Let's see. Kara Nichols, I think you had like a large bag going on, didn't you? Kyle, I'm trying to remember, have we moved you already? Kevin, I feel like you might have been moved. Were you up top? Jesse sat. I don't, if Jesse's still in the front, then I don't think so. Let me check over here then.
Oh, you say I don't have a bag. Oh, <laughs> I read it wrong. I read it as I have a bag. You said I don't have a bag. A lot of people say I need a new bag when they need a new bag. So I, I read that uh, in my brain. It was like, he's got a bag. All right, here we go. Kara Nichols. How's it going, Kara? Boop. Welcome back. After Kara Nichols, we have Jeremy Helmstatter. He says four live custom boosters and one shining face. So he takes a big risk on that. Four live custom boosters. I mean, basically, you could just be tossing $80 to the wind. Let's see what happens, though. Boop. Oh, what's this? One XY base set. Two. Oh, what's this? Scissor V Max. Three. And boop. four. Not bad. You pull a hyper rare Scissor V Max. He looks pretty spicy. And you're going to be put into the box break for the XY base set. So here's this Jeremy Helmstetter. Mister, how much for the Blaine's Arcanine? Uh, we didn't know what to charge for that one because there was no equivalent to uh, get a price for it on online. All right, 12 of those spots are now sold, and pretty soon it's going to be 18, and the price will go up on that back to the original price of $62. That was originally what I was going to sell those for. And this scissor goes to Jeremy Helmstatter. And Jeremy Helmstatter is over here. You know, it's crazy when I start getting spots memorized. Congratulations on your hyper rare scissor. Oh, you also get these. I don't know if you want them. <laughs> Trent says, please let me know. Oops, I might have missed a message of yours. Please let me know. Please let me know. Please let me know. Mister, how much for the Blaine's Arcanine? Oh, um, again, I don't have a price for this because we don't have anything to compare it to. It's a real nice card. So what's cool about this one is it is a no rarity symbol card. See, there's no rarity symbol. And it's called Gurren City Gym Deck. Presumably this made out, this came out of a pre-made deck all the way from 1999. So it's a, it's a, it's a sort of special card because it's not part of the regular booster packs that you would just open. This is part of a, uh, I guess it's part of some, ex I want to say like promotional item where it's like a, it's a deck. Mister, what metal cards do you have? How's it going, Casey? Casey, uh, I list all of my metal cards in a channel in the Discord called, it's called TCC Shop or something like that. But here are some of them. I got these Charizards here and I've got... SV49 Charizard. I also have Pikachu VMAX, and I have Shiny Gyarados, Neo Revelation, and Crystal Charizard from Sky Ridge. So th those are a few of them. Okay. Jeremy Helmstadter also wanted a Shining Fates. Oh, I see how it is. Mister, do you have a sports junk box? I do not. No, I do not. Dartrix. Ah, darn it. Ah, oh, dang it. All right, here we are. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's next? Oh, we're going to refresh. Can I get code? <gasps> Didn't he want four? You stream too late for me, sir. I'm sorry. You got to forgive me. You can always watch the replay, though. Ooh, the replay. I want to buy a spot in the large, but I don't know if I'm too late. Well, you would end up going into the next round of the large. It's too late for you, GJM. You're probably too late. Wow, this takes forever to refresh. Do, 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 do. Listen to this music. This music is called Goldenrod City. That's from Gen 2. I recognize it. I played a lot of Gen 2. 
So after Jeremy Helmstatter, we have a large order from Alex PSX. And he says five live custom boosters. You got it, Mr. Alex. One, two, three, uh-oh, four. Oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> there you go, Alex. You almost tossed 100 to the wind. And it says three large. Whoa! What is that? Three large. That's pretty good then, right? If you think about it, because 40 times three would be 120. So you did a little bit better than normal. Let's see. So that means you take this spot here and you're the next person for the next two spots in the new round. So we put one, two, three. So that's kind of cool, picking up three spots. Oh, then GJM, no spot. All right, we'll go ahead and set these two aside. Well, I suppose what we can do is take these out of the bag and we'll put these into the bag. So your spot's number one and two in the next round, Alex. All right, cool. Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Let's go ahead and pull the, uh, the pulls. These are what you guys are hoping to pull out of the booster packs, these three cards. Latios, Latios. Espeon, Neo2, and Shining Lugia. Really nice cards. Ethan says, talking a British ac accent. I thought there would be one more, says Alex. One more what? Slab? What is he saying? Alex, did I open all, I opened all five spots for you, right? Yeah, I did, I remember, because we were worried that the last spot might not be hot. Okay. There's a PSA 7 of that Arcanine for 142. Really, the Gurren City Gym? So this that one would probably be like, what, 180? Let me go make up the boosters now, everyone. I have to make the boosters now. You enjoy the music and make your bets on who's going to pull the best card. Oh, I need my marker as well. Actually, do I need my marker? Yeah, I need a marker. Ugh. All right, I reached it. So, we're gonna say Latias, Lugia, and Espeon. So I got the three hot poles that everyone wants. We always have a little bonus pull as well. All right, there's bonus pulls in there. And now I'm gonna start putting the packs together. Lots of cold ones. All 
All right, let me count these up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I'm at sixteen packs. Seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 21, 21. you think with so many cars this would be easy. I just need to recount. I demand a recount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. All right, we got twenty-nine. Where's my marker? Here's my marker. I want to try to bring these over. Forgot about these. They should be over here already. All right. I am back. I've returned. Who is still here? Who did we lose? I'll count them in front of the screen. If I can catch my breath. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 29 packs. Now, the way these work, these are not sorted. These are not shuffled, I mean. We already know the hits are down here, right? The good cards are at the bottom. So you don't want to be one of the guys up here. You want to be one of the guys at the bottom. What we are going to shuffle are these over here. So these are the actual cards, and we're going to shuffle those up. Here goes. Only one spot in the large this time, hoping the luck is on my side. Let me get these out of my way. There we go. There was only one shiny star V-pack. Okay, split that, oop, split that in half. Can I actually say I won, says Alex? That's right, you won, Alex, you did it. Oh, because you always joke in the past that you've won, but now this time you actually have a spot. That's why you're saying that, I get it. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Don't look, there's Sean Lee on. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So when we go back and forth like this, this is a very good method of shuffling because it ensures that all the cards get displaced by one at least. Can there be a Snorlax slab for the next large? Hmm, maybe. There's gonna be a Charizard slab for the next large. Okay, trying to bend them all the same way. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to split it in half again. We're going to keep going. We want this to be real well shuffled. God damn it. There's Mike's side. Sorry, Mike's side. That Snorlax on the table is 229 so it's up there in price. 229 huh? He could be in the next one. He's expensive enough to be in the next large. All things being equal, what's the best, better card, Charizard or Caterpie? I'd rather have 100 Caterpies rather than one Charizard. Hope everyone is having a wonderful night. What's up, Melissa? All right, one more back and forth. And then I'm going to have the audience pick a number. 
Here, why doesn't somebody pick the number right now? All right, who's picking the number? Oh, there we go. Somebody said 10 at the start. Who was it? Kayong said 10. So 10 is going to be the number that splits the deck. And that's really important because that's that basically decides who's going to be the winner. Don't you think? You know, once the deck is split, somebody's on the bottom. And it's going to go like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Boop. All right, so there's the cards all on one side. And here's the, here are the pulls on the other side. Now we find out who pulls the hot cards. Get nervous. Louis Rodriguez, first pack out. That's Manaphy. Sorry, Louis. Look at that. He was also number one. He was the first guy in. First in, first out. Sorry, Louis. <laughs> number two, Jonas Rosado. Mr. Jonas. Jonas pulls an AG slash. There we go. An AG slash. Jonas is over here somewhere. Here we are. Jonas Rosado. Sorry, Jonas. <laughs> you just remember, this is how the pulls will go for about 26 people. And then for three people, they will be extremely hot. That is the nature of this. Nurses. Nurses, you're out pretty early as well. I'm sorry, nurses. That's cutie fly. Oh, nurses. Gosh dang it. Gosh darn it. Nick Wig, Nathan. Nurses. This is the large custom booster box, and it's kind of a big deal because somebody's going to walk away with a $700 PSA card. Cody Rogers, Cody Rogers is in here a lot. So Cody, you got a lantern, set that to the side for now. Brian Ochoa was number 24. He opened tonight, in fact. Mr. Brian, just a cold one tonight, Brian. Sorry, Brian. Cody Rogers again, Mr. Cody Rogers, pulling Paris. Connor Gillespie. Connor Gillespie pulls a Dartrix. Wow. By the way, if anyone does not want their hollow card because they don't want me looking for their bag for a minute, uh, you can just tell me to donate your, your hollow to make things faster. Connor Gillespie on eight. Now look at that. Isn't that wild? For that to occur, they have to be shuffled apart and then shuffled back together in order uh, because as you saw, I was going back and forth that whole time. Oh, very nice. He pulls a shiny little punny. That's so punny. All right. It was all worth it, Connor, for that little punny. Mr. Juan Reyes. Sorry, Mr. Juan. He pulls a little pup. Here we go. Juan Reyes is right in the front. Edwin Acosta. Mr. Edwin, you pull beware. Hero, Edgar, Edwin Acosta. Sweet. My tits are sweating, says Alex. Well, you're making it a little bit through it. Here's Melissa Price. Sorry, Melissa. That's a rongaroo. And Melissa, I feel like you've been moved to the top or something. Do we move Melissa to the top? There's Miguel. Maybe we moved you to the right. Oh, here you are. I found you. We did move you to the right. Here you are. Sean Leon. Sorry, Sean. That's Rotom Dex. And Mr. Sean Leon. Alexio Alvarez. Mr. Alexio pulling Chin Chow. You're right in the front over here, so you're very easy to find. Jeff Leon. That's right. We got a Sean Leon and a Jeff Leon. Jeff Leon pulls a lovely full art better, butter uh, free. It's actually kind of nice. 
Jesse, Jeff Leon. That's kind of nice. Just like a regular booster box, right, guys? Alexio Alvarez. He pulls Magnemite. Just like a regular booster box. Cody Rogers. Mr. Cody. That's your third. Miguel Velasquez. Sorry, Mike Side, you were making your way down there. <laughs> Mr. Mike Sides does all our thumbnails, by the way, guys, and he hosts the Twitch stream. Uh, this is Justin Maxamble. All right, Mr. Justin. Sorry about that, Justin. Justin Maxamble. Carl, Carl. Ah, Carl. <laughs> I know exactly where your bag is. You have such a distinct name. Carl, Carl. Carl, but twice. You're like back here. Found you. See how fast that was? I even knew the location of his bag. All right. Alex is still in, huh? Mike Spanos. Uh, Spanos. So your odds, Alex, uh, they're, they're pretty small. Think about it. There are three spots that can be pulled, but you only have one card in here. So Mike Spanos, Butterfree, Mr. Mike Spanos. Let's go find his bag. This could take a little while. I don't remember Mike Spanos' bag's location. Michael Johnson, Daniels. Oh, he's right here. That was fast. <laughs> There we go. Look, a lot of butterflies in here. Jesus. Cody Rogers. Oh, I'm sorry, Cody. Ah, oh, that kills me, Cody. All right, Cody went so deep, guys. Can we get an F for Cody? Cody did not pull the hot one. He went very deep. Oh, no. Oh, how deep did you go, Cody? Oh, I didn't know, Cody. All right, maybe we'll get you a little consolation prize, Cody Rogers. I feel very bad. That's that's bound to happen, guys, so keep it in mind. It's just because you got, let's say, five spots out of 29 doesn't mean that they can't all be cold. So we're all big boys. We know what we're doing. Here's M. Cusick. M. Cusick. Frostmoth. So Michael Cusick. Oh, you've got a huge bag. That's what the deal is. Here we are, Michael Cusick. I think you normally donate your hollows, though, don't you? Oh, Michael Cusick was one of the last guys to buy. Michael Cusick, 28, 27. So those were in reverse. Cramorant. Sorry, Michael. <laughs> so set the last four. So we're on the last four. And what that means, Alex, is if this is you, Alex, you get the bonus lesser prize. And then if you're one of these, you actually got a good prize. Wow, congratulations. Alex, I really didn't think you'd get something. Edwin Acosta. Wow, Alex, you're doing well. You didn't expect that, did you? So Edwin Acosta, you pull Hyper Rare Eternatus VMAX. Congratulations, Mr. Edwin. There you go. That is a very nice cold pull. You know what I mean? It, cold pulls can be as tough as just a simple hollow. So that's that's way better than a simple hollow. Now, these are the actual pulls. Are you ready? Jonas Rosado. Alex, you could be the guy who takes home the Latios Latios. Holy. Lugia. Mr. Jonas Rosado pulls the $250 Lugia. That's for Mr. Jonas. Who's still in? Obviously, Alex. Anyone else know that they're still in? Oops. Laptop trying to shut off. All right, Alex. Oh, look at that, Alex. First or last one out. Uh, last one in, last one out. 
what a strange uh, uh, custom box. Because Luis Rodriguez was first one in, first one out. Extremely low. Wow. So that's Jeremy Helmstadter. He won this spot in a large. You know, that's funny because that means he wouldn't even, he would not have even bought that spot in the box. He happened to pull this out of the live custom boosters and it really turned into something. So you get the Espeon. This is vintage Espeon. Holy moly, Alex. He got that on one spot, everyone. All right. Jeremy Helmstetter. Extremely lucky night for you. You know, what I was thinking about when I pulled you those three live customs out of the live custom booster box, what I was thinking about it was it would be much better for you if all three of the pulls could have gone into the same uh, large. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see how you have two left over over here, Alex? What I was thinking in my mind is it would have been much uh, safer for you to have all three spots in this round because it would greatly increase your odds that you get something. This is like the best outcome for you because you end up pulling the Latios Latios right here. And that means your two other spots still go into the next round. So Alex, what that means is in the next round of the large, you could pull the next big hit there too. Pretty crazy. Holy. And there it is. Latios Latios. Woo! Alex is getting cozy over there. Don't simp the slab. Team Rocket Grunt says bad shuffling. Really? I don't think so. 29, 19, 6, 25, 27, 28, 13, 14, 10, 17, 18, 1, 20, 11, 2, 4, 9, 23, 21, 22, 3, 8, 7, 26, 24, 12, 5, 16, 1. I thought that's pretty decent shuffling. I mean, you guys see it happen right in front of you. It happens right in front of your eyes. All right. You know, and the other thing, it doesn't surprise me that Alex has nabbed a slab here because he's constantly buying stuff on this channel. So here he is buying up live custom boosters and ending up in the large. It's bound to happen. All right. Let's get these put away. I'm going to get a little consolation prize for Mr. Cody Rogers because he went so deep and did not pull a slab. But, you know, I'm, I really shouldn't do this because I don't want it to become standard that people will get a bonus card because they went particularly deep. But I feel very bad for him. Let me go ahead and throw him this beautiful Charizard that will probably grade 10. Right, Cody? So, Cody Rogers, if you had a bag, would it be on the top box or the lower box? I feel like you'd be in the lower box. Brian, Benjamin, Bradley, Christopher. Just remember, there's only 29 numbers to shuffle. And in a truly random shuffle, you would expect to see some cards next to each other that are sequential. That's true randomness. Uh, you know, some people believe that randomness means that there's a far distance in the uh, number order for every number. That's not true. If you ever do software engineering and you work on true randomness, uh, you will run into scenarios where, you know, you'll get like one, two, and three, and then it will jump to like 15 or something like that. That's actual true randomness. Or like, you, you know, if you're flipping the coin heads and tails, you'll get 20 heads in a row. That appears to not be random, but in fact it is because all scenarios are involved in a truly random uh, role, you know what I mean? All right, here we are, Mr. Cody. I can shuffle it more if you guys want. Next time I can shuffle it like 20 times. I let you guys pick the number too, that's the thing. So you guys get to split the deck. Woo! Alex, I'm done with all these bad boys. I need a real Pokemon to take care of me and my six kids. Oh my God. Now here's the best part. We get to pick new slabs for the next large. And we're gonna do this one. We're going to assume that it's worth about 230. Jo Jonathan Morris says, as a bystander, I don't think buying five spots is a good idea. It's all done fairly. It's just RNG can make things look crazy. Well, yeah, I mean, that's just how it is. And uh, if you think about it, if you're buying five packs and there's 29 spots, 
then your odds are really just around one in six. That's still not, you know, you're more likely to not get anything. So just keep that in mind, everyone. The way I would play the large is I would take one spot and then that would be my one spot. That's how I would do it. I always tell people that. Uh, but, you know, Cody Rod, like I said, people, you guys are big boys. You can spend your money the way you want to spend your money. Uh, some people like to live life dangerously. You know what I mean? I'm liking these two, but, you know, I got a lot of co cards over on the other table. Let me go take a look at the other table. We might grab a few over there, too. So Snorlax is in. Let me go see what else. We need something that's real cool. Okay, I got a Charizard. He's going in. I know I'm quiet over here. I'm looking through my slabs right now. I got a bazillion slabs, not even exaggerating. Put Kitty's litter in the large. So we got a 240 Mimic U, 263 Leafeon. That's like 500 right there. Now this one needs to go for, uh, let's say two. I don't remember what I paid for. I think I paid like 220. I bought this one on store credit from, uh, I don't remember his name at this point. There's so much happening to me in a day. Tyler Limehouse, that's who it was, I remember now. So Tyler Limehouse sold me this guy, and I need to sell him for a few dollars over what I bought him for, or else it was pointless. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do 250 on him. He's just gonna go into the large at that amount. All this is going in the large. Let me add it up. Our pokies, he says. That's right. One of them has to come back out. I tell you what, I really like this Snorlax. Um, no, we got to save the Snorlax. These are only modern. Uh, we'll take out... Hmm. We'll take out Mimikyu for now. So Mimikyu will go into a, a different round. <clears throat> Put in a Team Rocket Return slab. I would, but I might keep all my Team Rocket Return stuff. Even though they aren't, <clears throat> even though they aren't graded well, <clears throat> I think they're actually really rare. All right, there we go. So that's much better. Uh, we're gonna do a total of, let's say, twenty-eight spots for this round. Okay, twenty-eight spots, and two of them are already done with. Alex has already done done in one of them. All right. Uh, where were we putting these beforehand? We'll put it over here. Sweet. Now, let me update, update the description. Description needs to say 28. Let's see. Here we are. That's going to say 28, and there's actually four slabs this time, so it's 4 and 28. He says, give one of my spots to GJM. Wow, okay. If you wish. So we'll say Alex 
GJM. There we go. <laughs> is the price on the large still 40? That's right. The, the large is expensive to get into, and there's not a lot of spots. So that's simply how it works. There's a total of 28 booster packs, and this time there's going to be four different slabs, and they're all really nice. And I decided not to put this Mimikyu in this time because it would make it so that it was uh, too many spots. So this can go into another round probably. All right, that was really cool, guys. He says, I need to make... Mister, do you keep the slabs we win in a separate area or in our bags? Uh, so what I do is I write your name on the back, and then I have this big box of slabs that I keep all of the sold slabs in. And then when it's time to ship... You let me know that you have a slab, and I go retrieve it out of the box. And uh, the other thing I do is if I think you're in the box, I go and search around. <laughs> All right, let's get going. That didn't take up too much time, did it? Now we move on to Johnny Pyres. He says, hey, cutie, let me get six bow styles. You owe me a smooch if I pull something good. What? All right. Smooch. Where are my bow styles? That's all team up. What the heck is team up doing over here? Here we go. Oops. Simp the Espeon to me, says Mike's side. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we will put that there. It just fits more naturally. All right. This is for Johnny Pyres. Mr. Johnny Pyres, thank you for your patience. We had to open the large there. Sneep. And so that's how the large... The large is going to be a big part of this channel from now on. Because what I used to do... See this $240 Mimikyu? I used to toss him into the live custom boosters. And then, you know, I'd make it into like... I'd add 12 cold spots into the box and then one hot for this guy, right? Or it was 11 and one hot, technically. And the problem was people could tell when a lot of cold packs had been removed from the box that there was maybe a hot one in the box as well. And that, that was a problem. We're getting rid of that problem. So now we break up the number of things you can put. In the live custom, there's a lot more pulls and they're in uh, smaller increments, basically. And now instead of pulling one giant card like Mimikyu, you'll grab a spot in the large, which then gives you a chance for the Mimikyu. Uh -huh. See? So, and, and cost-wise, it's all the same. But what happens is the live custom becomes much harder to, uh, let's say, sit around for to jump into at the right time. You know what I mean? We got Houndour and Flapple. Mimikyu, all I see is Dragonite, Pikachu, and Arcanine. What? He's a ghost. Here's Bronzong, oh, and Cacneo. And, oh, there you go, Mr. Full Art Mustard, smooch. I missed the new large. Can someone tell me what's in it besides the Snorlax? To be honest, I think the live custom is getting whack. What do you mean whack? I like the live custom. I like the way it is now better than it was. The way it was before, people would just wait for somebody else to do the sweeping, and, uh, and I didn't like that because it was unfair to the people who were doing the sweeping. Donate hollows. Thank you, Johnny P. And let's go find your back. Johnny Pyres. Not many streamers do anything like that, says Targon. Very interesting. Jose Flores, Joey Joseph, Jose Ponce. Johnny, oh, here we are, Johnny Pyres. I'm going to praise little B later. How much for the bulk tonight? Uh, right now, I think that, oh, Mr. Elijah Marquez, were you the guy who ordered before? Mr. Elijah, the problem is shipping to you cost me like $4 more than usual, which is basically there's no point at that point. Adam says, let's be honest, if you think it's whack, then you probably, you probably exploited the old system. Well, I don't think he's saying that. I don't think he's exploiting the old system. All right, there you go, Mr. Johnny Pyrus. Now, the J.O. box is so full that we need to make new room in it, uh, possibly by removing Mr. Jose Sanchez and putting him. Will he go up top? 
TCG Stadium has bow style booster box for $89. What? All right, there we go. Very nice. Mr. Here, I'll just do it. We don't do uh, advertisements, by the way. So let's go ahead and move on to Mr. Amos. Amos says one XY evolution. Master. There's no exploiting the old system. There's paying attention to the stream. If you're consistent, you're rewarded possibly. Well, you're not supposed to be rewarded for waiting for somebody else to, to mind sweep the box. That's, that's precisely the behavior I'm trying to get rid of. You see what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's not meant to be a reward. It's meant to be a risk and reward only for the people who are buying into the box. But uh, there was a behavior where people would really just let other people buy into the box until it was perceived to be hot. And that was a big problem. Charmander. Well, that's loud. There we go. They decided that one would be really loud. TCC, the shipping was too expensive to Hawaii. You'd have to pay more for him to ship, potentially. Yeah, I suppose that would be a solution. If you wanted to cover the additional $4 for shipping, that would be one uh, one solution to that. But, yeah, the shipping to Hawaii was much higher, so I, I canceled that earlier. Remember that? So, let's see. That was for Amos Castro's. What's up, Amos? Can't ship me to Hawaii. <laughs> Sounds good. I bet it's lovely over there right now. Justin Huerta, he says, I'd like one more XY Evo for an easy Charizard. Sounds good. So what kind of things are in the new Live Custom? Well, the Live Custom is still uh, loaded with PSA cards. So let me show you. So these are all in the Live Custom right now. All these... All these uh, PSA cards are in there right now. And these are primarily what the live custom boosters consist of. Are these and spots in the large. And then the large will have the really expensive slabs. So if you open up live custom boosters and you're granted a spot in the large, that could be a really nice thing because uh, how about an Alex situation where he saved some money picking up three spots of the large, but he pulled it out of the live custom. So he did, he would have had to spend more money to get the same number of spots. So that's that's how it works. Your risk is that you'll pull a cold one in the live custom, and that would cause you to subsidize the next pull for the next person. Are there still full boxes in the live customs? There will eventually be full boxes in the live custom uh, boosters, but kind of the way it works is once I start running low on slabs, then I start subsidizing the lack of slabs with... Uh, booster boxes. So right now I have many slabs. So for a little while there won't be whole booster boxes in there, but there will be whole booster boxes again soon. It just takes a little while because first I got to run out of cards. <laughs> all right, Mr. Justin, and I always do at almost a, an alarming rate. I almost always run out of slabs. I don't think I've ever had a scenario where I did it. It's just right now I had a larger return very recently. I had like two large returns. Mr. Justin, that's not Charizard. Mr. How much for that Raichu? This? <laughs> the Mimikyu? So this is Mimikyu. And he's $240. All right, I'm refreshing. The live custom boosters are one of the best selling packs on this, this live stream. They've sold faster and more consistently than almost anything else. Uh, except for maybe like XY Evolutions, which I think we have to say XY Evolutions is the single best-selling pack on this channel. Without a doubt, it's XY Evolution. It just sells like fire all the time. You make them enticing, mister. Well, that's because... Well, here, let me show you... Um... Here's some recent pulls. So these are some from the live. These are two from the large. This is from the live. This is from the live. This is... From that was a trade. This is from the live. This is from the live. And these are from the, the last large, right? So the large and the live go together. So these are all cards 
uh, mostly that people won, like one or two of them. That, like I said, that one was a trade. Um, but these are all cards that people were lucky with and they pulled out of my custom boosters. It's really cool, actually, if you think about it. That's just recent. I have a whole box of these to ship. Uh, and people just need to request shipping, of course. All right. That's right, we refreshed. And now it's time to see who goes next. Yeah, we've been doing live customs for a long time. They've always been real popular. Before we did the live customs, we had sort of like, we had something called the small, medium, and large. And it's very similar to the way the larges run right now, except it was also that way for everything else. So we finished Justin Huerta and we move on to Casey Fielsted. One metal Charizard from Base Set and one Charizard from Sky Ridge and one Jet Black Spirit. I need a bag. Sounds good. So let's get the Jet Black Spirit. Casey Fielsted? What's up, Casey? So there's the Jet Black Spirit. You want the base set Charizard? Let me go get the Sky Ridge Charizard. I'll be right back. Are these oh they're sleeved upside down, huh? <laughs> Not sure how much the energy slab I have there is worth. Is it worth a trade for four XY Evos? So, really, I need to be selling off my slabs. Uh, but if you were to accept uh, two XY Evos for that slab, I would uh, take it back, and then I'd sell it once again for a small profit. So that's the most I could do. Okay. Snip. But it's worth more than that, in my opinion, okay? So you might be better off trying to trade it with somebody else who wants it. Chrysalia! Oh, all right. Well, welcome to the table, Miss Casey. How rich am I? Uh, I, I do have some money, but I, I'm more pokey rich uh, by far. So I, I'm not like I'm not like rich rich. I'm not sitting on a bunch of cash, uh, but I am sitting on a bunch of Charizards. And those can be considered a, a form of wealth, if you want to think of it. I think of it that way. I'm sitting on some Charizards and other vintage cards that I'm a big fan of. All right. Casey. I do all right because I, I don't have any kids. And my wife works as a software engineer, too. So she pitches in. Don't forget my wife. She's a full-time worker. And uh, she's been, she's a senior software engineer. She's a senior software engineer. So together we do pretty good. We worked our fannies off for it. We worked like crazy. We both came from absolute poverty. Both me and my wife came from very poor families. We had to help her family because they were gonna be homeless. We were helping her family. Uh, it was, uh, was it just last year? They were just about to be homeless, and we had to help them. We had to buy them a, a home, actually. So they live in a home that we bought uh, for them. It's a very, very, very cheap, small home. And if we had not done that, they would be on the street. All right, let's see. Next up, we got Emmanuel Panetta. He says, Mr. Five Cold Live Packs. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I hope you get something. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Pack number one is Spiritomb. Pack number two, oh, C CGC 9, number 110. Pack number three, pack number four, and pack number five. All right, so in this scenario, you do pull your CGC card, but because you went three cold packs in, uh, that means you overpaid for it. See, that's kind of how that works if you think about it that way. Made well for nothing, can't be in America. I was told the game is stacked against us, Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Emmanuel, let's see what you pull. Yeah, that was a little too much for this one. That's a Flygon 9 from Cosmic. 
Maybe it's technically a, a, a PSA 10. Oh yeah, PSA would make this 10 in a heartbeat probably. <laughs> look, look at the corners on this. Very clean corners. CGC 9, I don't get it. <laughs> well, Mr. Mr. Casey, Mr. Emmanuel, I mean, I'm sorry. I think we just helped Casey a minute ago. Yes, Mr. Emmanuel, I'm sorry for your tough pull here. There we go. Regrade it. <laughs> I know, right? It's just a fly gun. Ha ha. All right, we'll toss this over here. And we need to put this in your bag. Mr. Questioning CGC grading. No, I swear. <laughs> They're so crazy tough. It's, am it's amazing. Scary. What Pokemon would be first one you'd build in Minecraft? Well, I did build some Pokemon in Minecraft. I used to do some uh, Pokemon pixel art. And I made a Shuckle in Minecraft. That was years and years ago. That was before I'd even met my wife. Joseph Haney says, I'll get 25 Silver Lance. Holy. Would 25 to 30 be okay for the bulk to Maui? Uh, if you could do an additional $4, which is $21, that would work. $21 would work. I don't want to rob you. It's just a junk box. All right. Mr. Mr. Joseph Haney, here we are. <laughs> I just slammed my fingers. 15. Can you show the Raichu behind the slab? Oh, there is a Raichu on the table somewhere? I thought she was talking about the Mimikyu. So if there's 30 in a box, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So pray these are not the hot ones because they could be. They could be. That is the risk you take. You say there's a Raichu, huh? Oh, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about this Raichu. This is Shining Legends Full Art Raichu. He looks so nice. And he's a Full Art 10. And he's $126. I think that makes sense. That's a, that's a fairly reasonable price. There's another one. Behind the Mimikyu. What? No, that's Kabutops. Spinarak. Oh, you mean Dark Raichu? Maybe, maybe you mean Dark Raichu. So Dark Raichu is from the Team Rocket collection, and uh, he's an amazing artwork. He actually is not from the Japanese Rocket collection. In Japanese, he's from the Neo Discovery collection. Isn't that bizarre? Sleep. Why make trillions when we can make billions? That's right. <laughs> The other one from Team Rocket. Steep. And so all this is for Joseph Haney. All right, Joseph. Oops, my bad. Sneep. Can you show us your kitchen and what's in your fridge? Hmm, suppose I could. You guys want to do a kitchen tour? Some of you guys haven't seen my new home. Oh, do we have a new large? We do. We have a new large. Are you guys ready for it? I'll show it off. In the new large, there's 28 spots, and there's four pulls. Leafy on 10 from Hidden Fates. Charizard VMAX from Darkness Ablaze. Blastoise Piplup from Cosmic Eclipse. And Snorlax 7 First Edition from Jungle. A really great round of the large, honestly. This one features... Maybe like the highest hit potential of any of the largest we've hosted. All right. So Joseph Joseph Haney, here we go. We got Sandaconda. Look at that Sandaconda. So your odds are four and twenty-eight, right? Is that how it works? Pack number two is cold. Pack number three is Frostlass. Now just remember, guys. Four guys will walk away with the slabs. 24 guys will walk away with the hollow card. That is exactly how it works. Everyone should go in with a clear understanding of how they're spending their money, okay? 
Mister, that Refion is fire. <laughs> He's very popular. The Hidden Fates evolutions do very well. So far, a Sandaconda. A Sandaconda. Cold. Get nervous, Mr. Joseph. <laughs> Joseph, if, if you don't pull any sort of like secret rare, hyper rare, be sure to order some more of these right away, okay? <laughs> Here's Cinderace. Cold. Gosh, I love hosting these streams. They're so fun. Volcanion. How many comments can we post? Uh, you can post as much as you want. It won't make a difference. That's because I have a little uh, program that will only pick one comment from your name. So in other words, you can post 100 comments. And it won't increase your chances. Okay? It won't increase your chances. He's talking about the giveaway, guys. There's a giveaway going on for this $300 Japanese Rocket Grimer. If you want to be part of that giveaway, be sure to read the instructions at the top of the uh, description. Okay? Oh, it's Calyrex. And just remember, you do have to be subscribed. Last time we had a winner who wasn't subscribed. Oh, the secret rare hasn't been pulled. Oh, I thought that was it. Last time we had a winner who wasn't subscribed and I had to take the prize away. How much is that right you from Neo? Can't see. Uh, he's not from Neo. That one's the English version. Oh, no, mister. I think that you did miss the secret rare pull. That means it's in those last five packs unless... Oh, it is. Oh, no. You better get on that computer right now, Joseph Haney. And order five packs ASAP because somebody else is going to snipe it. Uh-oh. You don't expect that to happen, but it can happen, huh? Whew. Oh, no. Mr. Joseph, you might have just handed somebody else a secret rare. Oh, look at that. He got two of the same ponies, huh? That's very interesting. And let's go find your bag, Mr. Joseph Haney. Can I still send money for that Shining Rayquaza 9? Uh, you can. Yeah, I think I saw it over on the table over there. I have to go looking for it, okay? If you do order it. Jorge, Jonathan Todd, John Loman, Joshua, John, Joshua. Who are all these guys? A lot of Pika's grabbing their guns at the moment. Oh, man. You're talking about the snipe emoji. <laughs> We're looking for Joseph Haney. Here it is, Joseph Haney. I'm going to send an order for it. Sounds good. Whoa, you got a huge bag too now, man. What is up with all these huge bags? Next up, we got Brian Ochoa. He gives me one in the spot, uh, the new large, one spot in the new large for Brian Ochoa. Yeah, the large is pricey, and it is scary. By the way, the way the large works, we just price the cards up and then add their prices together and divide by 40. So there's no, like, confusion over... Yeah, have you guys ever seen, like, a mystery cube at, like, Walmart mystery cube you could pull shining charizard right you know what i'm talking about well they never disclose what your true odds for that shining charizard is and so your odds for the shining charizard are probably disgustingly low you know like if you only knew how low the odds truly were you probably would never buy it but over here with the large your odds are quite good compared to that you know you know your odds are based strictly off of the price of the actual card i'm not asking for anything more than the lowest buy it now price on that card and i'm just dividing that by 40. so it's i think it's a very fair system uh to do this kind of thing and uh i've heard there's people out there who have uh, mimicked my exact style mister the odds for the large are technically one in seven there are four prizes mister when should i be getting my junk box says casey fielsted well, Miss Casey, I shipped it out as soon as you paid, and uh, you're just going to have to wait for it to arrive in the mail now. It just depends on how fast the mailman gets it to you. Okay, next up, we got Alex PSX, who wants one XY Evo pack. One pack magic, he says. All right. Here it is. Mr. Alex. Sneep. Oh, okay, cool. I'm a guy as well. Oh, <laughs> Casey, for some reason, I thought Casey was a girl's name. 
I'm sorry about that. Nine tails. All right, nine tails break. Hey, that looks kind of nice. <laughs> no Pikachu, no Charmander, no secret rare in there, nothing. You know what I should do for Alex now? I should offer him a trade for my shuckle for his uh, Latios Latios now. <laughs> Who's next? Alexio, one of those spooky ghosts from the past packs. They're so spooky. Here you go, Mr. Alexio. Miss Gender, cancel TCC. I just didn't ask his pronouns. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Here goes. No. All right. No ghost rare. But you got this monstrosity. Fairy tale Rochka. Are we about to yiff? So, Mr. Alexio. Let's go ahead and get these sleeved up. Shuckle and XY Evo. I spent all my money on the Rayquaza this week, so no more packs until next week. Hey, well, you know, with the packs, you might have pulled nothing. With the Rayquaza... You've got a guaranteed card, and he's already done grading, and you could always resell him or trade him. So that's the nice thing. No gambling. Mr. Haunted is back. He says one live custom. All right, Mr. Haunted. Hello, Mr. Haunted. Mr. Haunted, that's a cold one. Would you do that trade? How much Evos are we talking, mister? How much Evos are we talking? You said Evos. Did you mean a single Evo? Dude. He says, I don't know. He's like, as much as I can get, I guess. <laughs> Evos until the Zard. Four Evos and a Shuckle. Depends on what I think that Shuckle is worth, huh? You know what? I'll do the trade for you, Alex. I'll do the trade for you because I know how much you like all of the uh, signed cards. I wasn't going to let them go so easily, uh, but let's do it. I was not going to let him go so easily. Because I think he's kind of special, and I'll tell you why. The reason I think he's kind of special is not only is he my favorite Pokemon, but this is the first graded signed card I've ever had. So you get the first one, and I think you really should be the one to have it, because you seem to really like collecting signed stuff from me. Where does this go now? And uh, I'm going to do this trade with them right now. What I'm going to do for the XY Evos, I'm going to open a fresh box here so that I don't interrupt the poll order for other people. All right, Alex, this is from a completely different round. All right, so Alex, what you should do is you should uh, you should save a timestamp of this live stream. Can you do that, Alex? So this is my shuckle and I signed him and it's the first card i ever graded my first signed card that i ever graded that's my signature the signature says doric that's what it says it doesn't say tcc and um he's graded a gem mint by cgc very nice and i'll write your name on the back because it's yours now all right there you go alex alex i'll try to Gain 100,000 followers so that that becomes valuable over time. Okay, mister. Now let's go ahead and open these Evos and pull you a Charizard at the same time because that would make this perfect. Sneep. He says, I'll never sell. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, pack number one is Reverse Hollow Zapdos. That's off to a good start, I'd say. Pack number two, Rattata. All right, well, <laughs> it's at least it's a well-centered Rattata. Pack number three. Oh, I thought it was going to be Charizard right there. But it was Ninetales. Those fire Pokemon always do that to us. You always think you've got the Charizard and it's some other fire Pokemon. 
All right, reverse hollow nine tails. One more chance. And it's the old switcheroonie, huh? Switch. That's like what we just did. We just did a switch. Let's go ahead and look for other valuable non hollows. So I did see one secret rare. This guy right here, the executor. Oh, I normally let you guys keep the Arcanines, don't I? Because I think Arcanine's cool. Arcanine and Mewtwo is cool. Charmander's cool. All right. So no Charizard in there, but you will note that the pulls were actually decent because you got three of the rare cards, right? What I'm trying to say is Ninetales would be a rare in the original base set. So would Polyrath, and so would the Zapdos. And the Zapdos looks like 10 material. He looks real clean. All right, there you go, Mr. Alex. And now if you ever go to sell that, be sure that you uh, ask a high price. I don't know. I want to see it sell for a lot. So if you ever sell it, let me know what you got out of it. Woo! All right, and I'm going to log back in. How nice. So, I can see we have more orders. Oh, man. I'm logged back in, and we have... Where were we? We were opening for Haunted. Yep. And now we have James Gower. He says, one pack of EV heroes. Make it a full art. You got it, James Gower. Sneep. So he didn't trade the shuckle for a $700 card. A note that he also got four packs of evolutions. So, but he did get, he did offer quite a, a good value for it if you think about it. And who knows, maybe if I have 100,000 subscribers someday, which is my goal, uh, maybe the card will be worth that much. Maybe like $600, that wouldn't terribly surprise me. If you had like a favorite PokeTuber, you might buy his card for a lot of money. Next up, we got Elijah Marquez for the bulk cards to Maui. Gotcha. Okay. So I tell you what, Mr. Elijah, I'll print your label right now to make this easy. Oops. I guess the interesting thing about signature cards from somebody who isn't really big yet is, oh, cool. I already have this all pulled up. All I got to do is hit print label. The interesting thing is, if they do grow into a larger channel, then you've held on to all their stuff, and uh, it's it's sort of a appreciation question, like, will it appreciate? So if tomorrow I decided, you know what, I'm never doing Pokemon cards again, that would be very bad for Alex. But if I said, you know what, I'm going to do Pokemon cards for another 10 years, that would be very good for Alex. See what I'm saying? When Mr. starts grading things, we'll get wild. Mark my, my word. Hey, you know, my my wife is actually thinking about quitting her job. Senior software engineer. She's thinking about potentially quitting and working with me on a grading card company because she sees the potential too. She sees some potential in that. She's like, hmm, that could be a million dollar business. That could be really valuable. Unexpected has an order from the other day. He wants Shining Fates. Ha ha! Mr. Unexpected, what's up, man? All right. I was hoping you'd show up because I was going to have to refund you otherwise. I forgot to say I have a bag in my order. I'm going to take the kids to school now. Sounds good, Mr. Jonathan Cham. Woohoo! How's it going, man? So, Unexpected, after you. Uh, sent me $200. I suspected you were ordering Shining Fates. And what I did was I took two boxes of them, two boxes of them, and I set it to the side. So you're getting the same boxes that you would have received that day. You're getting the same boxes you would have gotten that day. Now let me put one on the floor to make this easier. Just hire a worker or don't have your wife leave steady income. Well, I understand all that, but you know, you got to take risks at some point. I did when I decided I was going to do YouTube full time. That was a big risk for me. 
All right, so these are yours. And this is yours as well. And I junked the rest of this. Except for the sleeves that end up sitting in a box forever. Because there's a bazillion sleeves. She better off making cookies. Nah, she's no good at baking. <laughs> She'd be better off doing something complicated. I think she'd enjoy it more anyways. She sees a lot of potential. And I do too. And uh, she's actually been doing a little bit of research. She's got to help me do some research too. But as of right now, we do not have a grading company of any sort. So just, just talking about it. We have the cash. We have the money to start a business. So we could we could just bankroll it. We've got the money to go right now. We're still trying to figure out things like labels. and Yeah, we haven't figured the labels out. Sounds like she's a good team player. That's right, playing for, um, swinging for both teams. What? So this is Evie VMAX. Would you be would you be open to investors? Uh, I think an investor is somebody who like buys a part of the company, or maybe they loan you money with an expectation on like interest return or something like that. But I've already got PayPal will make me a business loan, a pretty substantial one, and I've got a chunk of cash set aside just for doing something like this. So right now I would I would not say I really need any money. However. One of the hard things for me to accept, and it's taken me a while to understand this, one of the hard things for me to accept is I can't do it by myself. I run this live stream every night, and it already takes most of my day up to do this, and I couldn't go run a card grading company for eight hours a day and then do this on top of it. It's simply too much work. So I need to find a way to uh, work with others, and that's where I'm at when it comes to card grading. And what I can do is I can contribute a lot and I can bankroll it, but I can't I can't be the one running it the whole time. So that's kind of where I'm at because I have all this to do already. And this is a pretty full-time job. We do this all seven days of the week, right? Here goes Mr. Unexpected. Dracovish, starting out with good old Dracovish. He looks like he's got testicles on his chin. True, mister, you would never sleep. Well, I wouldn't have any life at all. And that's not the goal in life. The goal, I mean, the goal is to make enough money that you're happy. And then the goal is to have some free time, you know. Maybe you need to hire like a business planner. Yes, a business planner or I don't know. I don't know yet. But, you know, if I can get as far as getting a setup in my basement and actually producing the slabs we want to see... Uh, then at that point, I can say, all right, I'm hiring. Who wants to do this all day? Eternatus, Golden Eternatus. Look at that. Wow. Great card. So already he's got Rillaboom and Eternatus, but no Charizard. Where's the Charizard? Oh, I thought that. Oh, look at that. Rillaboom shiny. Here's Coombed Out Eyes Gym Trainer. Hmm. I think I've seen that look. Rillaboom. When you move into the Ozarks, Alex, it's nice out in the Ozarks, by the way. It is pretty nice out here. Cramorant. We got Kai Ogre. Ooh. Can't. I want to be Disney CEO. Disney CEO. That's right. The Force is female. <laughs> what? Here's, ooh, another Eternatus. This is the Eternatus of V. And you've got Al Creamy. Pokey Stand TCC card shop win coming. Oh, if I name the the uh, the actual shop Pokey Stand, uh, I think some people would take offense to that. <laughs> I think a lot of people would from both sides. Maybe we got Al Creamy Full Art. It's a joke between us saying Pokey Stand here, but I think all kinds of people could get offended of if I put that on like a main street. <laughs> Welcome to Pokey Stan. I don't know. It's just a fun joke between us. Here's Double. Hatena. Oh, man. Look at that Hatena. 
Shining Face, look at that, Thwacky. Shining Face is one of the most generous sets out there, guys. I've been saying it for a long time. We've seen some anom anomalies where it's a bad ETB. Majority of these e ETBs are full of hits. And finally, Delmai. So no Charizard yet, huh? He's in the next one, mister. And that was for Unexpected. Where that bastard XYZ? <laughs> XYZ. He's hiding. You know, to pull that double Charizard, I basically had to open up like three boxes of XY Evolutions. So uh, really when it came down to it, uh, if you were expecting a Charizard per box, I, I got two for three boxes, which is not very good. The, although it was surprising that two came out in five packs. I got two in five packs. Overall, two in three boxes is, you know, it's not like a super impressive pull rate. And that's just kind of how it goes with XY Evolutions. Sometimes you get a box and it's like Charizard's galore, sometimes not. A lot of people are buying them one or two at a time. I haven't seen anyone open a whole box of XY Evolution in a long time. James O'Brien was doing that for a while. He was he was blasting through them. Um, but I, I figure he's probably got all the XY Evolutions he could ever need, you know what I mean? I love that Pokemon Center advertised their fancy exclusive ETBs, and then they just sent out the normal ones like, whoopsie. <laughs> Is that the mistake they made? So here we go. Here we go. Delmise, Thwacky, Hatena, Double, Alcremie, Eternatus. I think this is one of the better pulls. Alcremi, Kyogre, Cramorant, Rillaboom, Gym Trainer. Oh, it is two of the same Eternatus. He got two of the exact same ones. Rillaboom, Ditto, and Dracovish. That's all for you, Mr. Unexpected. Oh, shoot, what is Unexpected's real name? All right, we're going to put it down as Unexpected for now. Unexpected. Maybe I have it in here. Hold on. It's Matt Joe, is that right? Might be Matt Joe. In which case you would still go into the M box. All right, so for now, Mr. Unexpected, you get to run off of a nickname still, like in the good old days. And I'm putting you in the L box because the L box still has room and the M boxes do not. Everything's pretty much full to capacity. Okay, now we have Joseph Haney. Ten more Silver Lance for Joseph Haney. Look at that. He said, I'm not taking any risks. Well, you know, the funny thing is, you only needed to order the last five. One, two, three, four, five. But you know, maybe you'll get a double hit. Who knows? Here, I'll do the Silver Lance song. Maybe that's why you didn't get the hit last time. One, two, three, four, five. The reason you didn't pull the hit on your previous order is because I didn't sing Silver Lance. Silver Lance. Silver Lance. All right, now the packs are blessed. Let's go ahead and get you this secret rare. Watch it be like a terrible trainer card or something. No, I don't want that for you. All right, Joseph Haney, you ready? It comes to us all, Joseph Haney, the cold ones. There we go. <laughs> Literally the next pack. If you had ordered 26 packs, you would have pulled her. Woo, cold. Here's this guy with an earwax problem. Slow King. And cold. All right. Now you did actually order 10 of them, and we're going to open up the other five. Could be a double snipe. You never know. How do I request shipping? How's it going, Casey? Casey, there's two ways to request shipping. You can go to the Please Ship channel in the Discord and then write me a message. And this puts you in line for shipping. Or you can order live shipping tonight for $6 and be shipped out immediately. That means everyone else is still waiting for their shipping, but you will get shipped out right now. So that's how we currently do it. It's a really good system. The reason we do the please ship channel is because this encourages you to uh, slow down and not ship right away. And that's because new people, one of the most common things they do is they, they ship their bag right away uh, when in reality they were going to open up more cards. A lot of people come back and they open up another round of cards. And this is very cost ineffective, cost inefficient. So this is why we have the please ship channel. It slows everything down. 
Woo, all right. Just the Whitney? Just the Whitney and the Galarian Rapidash. Three strokes. He lasted three strokes. What? What is he saying? So Joseph Haney, huh? Where did we put you? Here you are. Now, I just don't know, Joseph. Your bag's so large at this point. Oh, man. Um, wow, we're officially out of room. Ah, let's get off of my foot here. Foot was going numb. I have an empty box anywhere. Here's one. New bulk box, I guess. I guess. Okay, that's resting peacefully. Very good. Master needs to hire a temporary worker to just ship all the cards out. Well, that's not necessarily true. Uh, I do keep up with the police ship channel fairly well. I like to let it get to about one week old. That's why I like to do. Because usually within one uh, paycheck cycle, that's usually when they make their second order. That's what I've learned over a long period of time. And so I usually let shipments get one week old and then I ship them out. And sometimes I fall behind on it a little bit, uh, but I can usually catch up in a, in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, the bigger challenge is there's a lot of people who never request shipping for some reason. I think like, here, let's pull out any old box. Who are all these guys? Who are all these guys? Carlos Jimenez, Charlie Hames, Billy Baumgartner, uh, Brian Eckstein, Braden Spada, Spadis, Blake Borcher, Cody Gachinoir, Christopher Nielsen, Corey something, and Cole Kaminsky. Really? Cole Kaminsky? I feel like he has another bag. No, this is another guy called Cole Kokoschke. Their names are very similar. So there's all these bags cluttering up the boxes and they never request their shipping. I don't know why. There we go. Put those in nice and gently. People get too pokey stoned and forget. Yeah, I wonder if some guys have actually forgotten they were even here. <laughs> okay, so now we've got Toro Teal for the Shining Rayquaza PSA 9. I'll be right back. Since I'm standing up, I'm gonna go grab a quick drink because I'm thirsty as heck. And then I'm gonna grab, you know what? I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break too. So I'll be right back, guys. Got my drink. Let's find that shining Rayquaza. This will take me a moment. 
Maybe he will show up really fast, but I don't know if he will. It's not in that pile. I found him. Alright. That didn't take too long. Poor O'Teal says 140. Was he really that cheap? I gotta double check that. He doesn't have a sticker on him. I'm loving this music. Yep, that's the correct price. All right, sounds good. Man, those Shining Legend packs are so expensive, then. How many cards can we donate to the binder? You can donate a single card. And it is possible to withdraw a card, but only to donate a more expensive one. So if you have a more expensive card than the one you originally donated, you can, like, upgrade in order to have a fancier card. Shining Rayquaza. There you go. Adam Smith, he says to Rebel Clash. Rebel Smash? Oh, mister, you shouldn't have. Where'd I put him? <laughs> I just had Rebel Clash. Where did I put my Rebel Clash? Darkness. Steam Siege? What the heck is a Steam Siege? Dag nabbit! <laughs> All right, we'll get some more Rebel Clash open. You, can you rip two cards in half to make one? That's what I do all the time, man. That's my whole trick. That's my favorite move. Toro Teal for mod. <laughs> all right, two Rebels. Mister, give me some slab surprise for you. I'm bored. <laughs> Let's see. Those are all priced. Those are all priced. Oh. This spinner rack isn't priced. It's a spinner rack nine. He's so cute. Excadrill isn't priced. Uh, we also have Sudo Wudo. And oh man, this Nine Tails. Look at that Nine Tails. If you can't find any Japanese tens, which you probably can't because I'm probably one of the very few people that bothered to grade this, uh, you could let me know what the price of the regular English one is. Light Nine Tails. God, that's nice. Okay, here we go. You had to order a new debit card. That sucks. This is for Adam Smith, right? He has a bag. I know you're all dying for the uh, Excadrill art over there. <laughs> Dracloak. And Scyther. Hey, those aren't secret rare. Give me the secret rares, mister. Put him up. All right. Adam Smith. Here we are. You have to order a new flashlight. Oh, I hope you get a new flashlight in, in time for the winter. Now we have... It's JC. What's up, Jonathan Cham? He says, it's been a long time. Can I get three large customs? All right. Jonathan Cham is in. Woo! I had to order a new girlfriend today. Oh, hope you didn't overpay. I had to order a new girlfriend. Yeah, goof. 
JC's been with this channel for a long time. I appreciate him hopping over. I hope he gets something. Throw that away. Here's some more energy cards. Do, 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 do. So this is going to be four, five, and six. And I think I'm just going to call these JC. John lost his virginity to a piece of plastic. Sweet. Not supposed to do nicknames. All right, there we go. Mr. James Gower says five packs of Ice Rider. Whoa. He was after you. One, two, three, four, five. What was it? Joseph Haney? He was coming for you. He's ready to snip that beautiful secret rare. So you might still get something, James. Let's see what comes out of these boosters. Let's see what comes out of these boosters. You ready? Ooh, you got Tornadus. He's about to throw down. Pack number two is cold. Number three. Oh, it is another hit. That's great. It's the same card. Oh, man, the luck. Very nice. Pulling waifus for you guys. Very lucky. You did well anyways, Mr. James Gower. And that's a good thing because the box is empty. So that's a nice box to be finishing off, huh? I didn't even have to do the Silver Lance song. What could it mean? Aha, James Gower. Who is that girl? She's the gym leader from Sword... Uh, she's from Shield. Is that right? She's from Pokemon Shield. All right. I don't remember her name. I always forget. <laughs> James O'Brien, five Evos. Oh, he said, I'll roll the ball. I'll roll the dice. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what happens. Easy snipes all day, right? Melanie. I always want to call her Whitney for some reason. One, two, three, four, and steep five. Melons to the knees. All right, you ready? That's full picks on pack number one. Ooh. Pack number two. Oh, you pick up Flying Pikachu with the Blastoise. That's actually a solid round. Flying Pikachu. And Blastoise EX. Here's Energy Retrieval. We almost halfway with the Evo base. What? Are you talking about the XY base? Here's Haunter. Oh, he's haunting my dreams. He looks perfectly centered. Two packs left. Come on, Charizard. There's my champ. He's not a Charizard, though. Where's the Charizard? Mister, do you compare PSA 9 and CGC 9 subgrade the same or different? Nah, CGC 9 is probably better. Sandshrew! Ah, darn it. <laughs> not it. But let's see what else you pulled, huh? Here's a Pikachu. Here's a Pikachu. My blood was getting excited. I was about to use my Pokey Jitsu. Spinarak CGC9 is 104. Jesus. But that's for CGC, right? Uh, we'd, we're going to price off of PSA prices because there are people out there who won't buy PS, uh, CGC still. I don't agree with them, but it's true. Do you mind letting me know what the, the PSA price is? I'm not going to price mine at the CGC price. 
I'll do that with the CGC cards. So I'll copy CGC prices with CGC cards. Blastoise, Flying Pikachu. All right. <laughs> James O'Brien, need a new bag. Oh, a new one. James, I don't even think there's room in the JA box. I think it's just full. James O. Brian. You can put a wig on a ma ma Mahikan and call it your girlfriend. We won't joke. What? What is he talking about? Who's putting a wig on something? You're going straight into the overflow, James, because there's no more room in the J box. The J boxes are fricked, man. They're so overfilled. All right, I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Don't care for the CGC, CGC labels either. I, uh, you know, I initially did not like them, but over time, I, they grew on me, so I don't really mind them at all. All right, all transactions. Let's see what we got. Taking an awfully long time. There it goes. We have an order from Mr. John Gamia. He says, it's been a while since I last ordered. Can I get five base set and one shiny star? You sure can. Let's get that shiny star. There we go. And five sword and shield base set. The Nine Tails, I don't see any price for a PSA 10. I think that was the same problem I ran into. And I said, I don't know if I want to even sell it. Because it's so cool. It's an awfully cool card. And did you know that those Neo Destiny packs are crazy expensive? All right, Mr. Gomia, good luck. I hope you pull a nice one. I like CGC labels more than PSA. I like their slabs more. Their slabs are exceptionally good. Sneep. 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 All right. Toss it away. And let's see what we pull. We've got... Team Yell Grunt, Pharaoh Seed, Hoot Hoot, Snom. Oh man, we need a hit now. Oh, cold ones. I'm sorry, Mr. Gomia. That was a cold round for Mr. John Gomia. Oh, John. How about this, though? Oh, John. Snip. Doot. Oh, not Charizard. Oh, there we go. That's an amazing rare Eveltal in your shiny star. So you do pull the Bolton. And the Eveltal. Is a CGC 9 better than a PSA 10? I've seen a few CGC 9s that could potentially turn into PSA 10s. That's how much more strict CGC is than PSA. And I, I've got a great example. Do you guys mind if I take a minute and go look for it and show it off? First, let's get this into John Gamia's bag. He's got a bag, right? Mr. John Gamia, I'm sorry for that tough round in the uh, base set. Your shiny star was a little better, though, wasn't it? Can I donate my hollows from the Evos? Would you like to do you're saying you would like to donate your XY Evos? Is that what I understand? You said the hollows though. Who would you like to donate them to? I think he's referring to these here. I'm assuming also the common and commons. These two are a bit better, huh? The Blastoise and the Peeps at Shoe. PSA 9 or BJS8 every day of the week. What? Let me show you guys a card. I'm stepping away, Mr. James. I'll be right back. Let's see if I can find this card. Where would I keep it at? Here we 
Here it is. I found it. I might drink over here. I only have a sip. So, this was a card I bought recently uh, to regrade it, and it's a Snorlax. It got a nine, and he just looks like it's unlikely, but maybe he'll have a chance for a ten with PSA. I mean, I don't know. I, it could be tough. I guess if it graded PSA 9 with PSA, I wouldn't really lose much other than the cost of the grading. Either way, he looks really nice. He got 9.5 on centering, 9.5 on surface, 9 and 9. If this did come back 10 from PSA... Uh, this would be worth much more than I paid for it. You think you saw a print line? No, I'm not seeing a print line. Hmm. All right, let me go put this back. Well, not back. Music is fire. So did I get to see what James was talking about? Mister, give my hollows to Casey. Sounds good. So Casey's new... And here we are, Casey Fjelsted. Casey Fjelsted, you just absorbed some uh, rather valuable cards. These are from James O'Brien. That's a very large donation. Wow, man. Holy Jesus. The Spinner Rack and the Sudowoodo are not showing any listings for PSA 9. Man, how are you supposed to price things if you can't even find them? Okay, let's see. Michael Cusick has an order. He wants three unbroken bonds, and I'll donate my hollows. Sounds good. I can reach him. Come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've sent off my Palkia EX from Black and White Plasma Blast to CGC. Oh, nice. I hope you get a good grade. One thing I really liked about CGC when they started was their price. But you know, their price has really steadily moved up to be very similar to everyone else's, so. But I mean, the demand is probably just that high. Sleep. Sleep. Okay, and Mr. Open some vintage packs for the YouTube live stream. Open some vintage packs. Oh, okay, I'll do it, mister. Oh, right, you're donating your hollows. That's right. Pack number one, pack number two, Spritzy, and pack number three. Oh, there you go, Charizard and Reshiram, and it looks well-centered. Congratulations. That's a hot pull. Woo! That's for Michael Cusick. Mr. Michael, that was a good round for you. Let's find your bag. He says, I'll donate my hollows. We'll take these out. Boop. Did you have more hollows by chance? Oh, you do. You have a chunk of hollows back here. Let me just take a quick look, look see at them. So you're donating your hollows. Obviously not that. Pick a peg. And that. Okay. So I took out some of your hollows. I didn't take out all of them. Any other stragglers? I like doing that because it really does make your bag a lot easier and lighter, which is good for the shipping. Okay, there we go. We got Charizard in there. How nice. These nuts says open, open, open. All right, I'm getting out all my vintage stuff. Maybe I'll open a pack of heavy uh, fossils. A heavy pack? No, I don't know. You know what I should do? Here's what I should do. I should sell that pack of Fossil Heavy and then open it on TikTok. I think that'd be cool. 
That would be cool. Deez Nuts says, congrats. Love that card. It's a good card. You can have all my reversed if you have time, mister. Says Adam Vinson. Adam, where are, where's your bag? Anyone who wants to donate their reverse hollows, by the way, we'll take James Gower. James, we'll put you over here. We'll put all these J bags together. Anyone who wants to donate uh, junk hollows can do so to make their bag smaller, which is always a bonus for me because it makes the shipping cheaper. And um, then I have a supply of hollows to put into the custom boosters. You want to keep those. Those are from the Detective Pikachu and that Blastoise. Woohoo! Mister, can I donate my hollows to KCF? Says Goblin. Ricardo Lopez. Ricardo Lopez. Where do the donations go? Into your box, mister. Here's a Marshadow. Uh, chunk right there. All right, very cool. Thank you, Mr. Ricardo. Casey Fielsted. Now, Casey, I think your bag's too fat now. I don't think you're going to fit down here. That's okay, because we'll... <laughs> I do. They're... All these bags are... Oh, no, and this is full, too, man. Here. We'll take out Carlos Rivera, and we'll put Casey Fjellstedt in there, and then Carlos will go up into the C-box. There we go. Woo! Next up, we have an order from Mr. Alex. He says, Evie Japanese for Stepsis Kara. Stepsis? All right, fresh box. Do the thing you did with Vintage, where we would buy one card tonight. We haven't done that in a while, and part of the reason for that is because we're trying to sell through the XY base set. When the XY base set is sold... Oh, no. Oh, that's right. I put it back here. When the XY base set is all sold off, we could do something like that, okay? All right, here we are. Yeah, people seem to have liked that. That was pretty fun, huh? It's a good way to sell uh, vintage. <laughs> it's just a cold one this time. It's the thought that counts, though. All right, I'm going to go and refresh. Someone donate their My Little Money cards to Casey. The one card thing was dope. He said two. Oh, my bad. I didn't see that. Two of them it is. Snip. The Ninetales English is 400. Wow. That is really expensive. But we have Japanese. And Japanese tends to not be as expensive as English. But also, you know, you're kind of suggesting I have no competition. Uh, oh, man, I wish that sticker gun wasn't broken. We're going to say 340 Maybe I'll buy a really expensive sticker price gun, you know what I mean? So that's going to say 340 for now. Okay, I'll place this back here. And that price is cheaper than the English equivalent, but uh, I don't think there's a very big pop count for the Japanese ones. And maybe there never will be. Who knows? How do I know if I should grade my cards, says Ginny Murphy. A good rule, Ginny, is to only grade it if you know it's going to be worth $40 over the cost of the grading. Okay, so after Alex, we have a, an order from Jack Gray who wants a Battle Styles. Okay. He says, I sent you a message on Discord about the missing slabs. Sounds good. Very likely they're in their own package. All right, what do we got? Glam Meow! Oh, man. That's the Glam Meow. That's the one I wanted. Dude. Uh. 
Now we have a big order from Jonathan Morris. Six Evos for me and two Eevee packs for the first person in chat to say, me, 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 me. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it was Toro Teal. Toro Teal. That was pretty fast reaction speed, Toro Teal. Sleep. Yeah, I was just watching the screen after I read that out loud. All right, you ready? Cold. They can't all be cold. Oh, it's Grimmel Snarl. Woohoo! Loving that Grimmel Snarl. Toro Teal. Tayton. Tim. Team Rocket Grunt. Trenton. Toro Teal, are you up top or something? I feel like you're going to be like up top. Here we are, Toro Teal. Whoa, you got a huge bag. Holy. Holy moly. Now, all of these are for our friend Jonathan Morris, who's going real deep. Six packs of Evos. It's nothing to, to, to uh, stick your nose up at. Stick, nothing to scoff at. There we go. That's the term. Sleep. In my mom. What? <laughs> what is this music, too? This is Pokemon music? Must be one of the titles I never played. You ready? Here it goes. Charmander. Drowsy. Ooh, it's drowsy. He gonna get you with this elephant trunk. Misty's Determination. This is secretly probably a valuable card to get as a 10 because it's a Misty Trainer. And if you look at this one, it's very well centered. Machop. Could it be a no print line Chansey? Let's look. No, right away you see the print line. <laughs> right up there. I think there's one by her feet too. Yeah. Darn. So there's Chansey. And here's Machop. I'm liking the centering on these cards, guys. This is good stuff. Any reverse hollow charge arts now might very well be a 10. Look at this Beedrill. Like, see the Beedrill? He looks like he could be a straight up 10. Well, if that was a reverse hollow Charizard, that'd be good stuff. All right, so Beedrill. Charizard Spirit Link is worth money. Cool. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out for that one too, huh? Here's Hitmonchan and Electabuzz. I wish I had enough to buy more cards, says Jenny Murphy. You know, Jenny, and that's, that's a good motivation to uh, find ways to increase your income. Like selling drugs. No, I'm just kidding. Don't sell drugs. Chansey. Yeah, more print lines on that Chansey. You pulled two Chanseys, which, by the way, if the Chansey had been a no print line card and you had graded that one a 10, uh, people would be standing in line to look at your Chansey because there's like a pop zero of those Chanseys in Evolution for PSA 10. Nobody has one. Not even the biggest, most, most... Deep pocketed collectors own one because nobody can find one. Maybe if every single pack of evolution ever printed was open, they would find one. All right, no secret rares. You got the two Charmanders. Snorlax says, What are drugs? All right, Snorlax, time to introduce you to the world of drugs. So the round did not yield any Charizards, but I do have to say these cards are well centered, and you did get a Mega Venusaur. And the Misty's determination, uh, don't underestimate it. She's very determined, for example. Jonathan Morris. Thanks for the donation, too, Jonathan. That was really cool. Mr. Jonathan. I don't have any pockets because I have women's pants. I knew it. he is definitely weighing the packs for Charizard. That's right. Charizard weighs five extra ounces. <laughs> You're too funny. 
Jonathan Moore says, thank you, mister. You bet. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Jonathan Morris, Alexio, he says, two SS rivalry. Supreme rivalry. All right. DBS. Mr. Only opens even when it benefits him. Steep. Well, you know that double Zard video is from like back when I was living in the a condo and you guys pulled out tons of Charizards after me. So we were, we were just getting really hot packs back then. Right now, the packs seem a little cold. I hope they heat up. They always heat up eventually. Chi Lai and King Vegeta, Hidden Ambition. Look at that baby. And that is a special rare. Congratulations, mister. What, is he cloning himself? That looks like a cloning machine, if I ever saw one. He's up to no good. When people start cloning themselves, you know they're the crazy type. All right. There is one PSA 9 extra drill, but it's 116 with international shipping. But a PSA 10 is 115 CGC 9. What? <laughs> with subgrades. So 115 it is then? Is that what you're saying? You must have never watched Dragon Ball Z. I never watched it. That's right. Mistress better than all of Snorlax's waifus. Aw, oh, thank you. Mr. James O'Brien says five more Evos. One, two, three, four, five. Anthony says, no, it's too late, Anthony. The order's been made. Sleep. 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 We're pulling lots of Venusaurs, I'm noticing. Here comes the Charizard, says Targon. Maybe. Here comes the Pidgeot. All right, we got Pidgeot. Where is there an empty card with just a forest showing? What? Starmie. You forget Starmie is even in this set until you pull one. You're like, oh yeah, Starmie. Oh, there we go. Charizard EX, that's a good round. So Mega Pidgeot was in there and Charizard EX was also in there. Nice. Two packs left. Well, that's Machamp uh, and a Mewtwo. Of course, we'll get whatever other non-haulers are good out of there. And... Oh, I thought that was it so hard. Nope, it's a reverse hollow Charmeleon. All right, also we got hollow Clefairy. All right, here's your Clefairy. And here's your Charmeleon. When the Charmeleon starts showing up, you know what that means. It's Charizard time. That's just superstition. I'm just saying stuff. <laughs> Magnemite. Woo! All right, you found one Charizard. Where's the other Charizard? Where's that hollow Charizard? Johnny C says, break cards will be worth something someday. Johnny C, would you be surprised to learn they already are worth something? We found out that the break, uh, the uh, the break Lugia card. I was gonna say break point. The break Lugia card from Fates Collide is going for like a thousand dollars as a ten. That's because everything with Lugia on it goes for a ton of money. Mister, can I see the bulk box? Uh, not for now. It's not very full, uh, but don't worry. It might take an extra day to fill it up. Might take another night, and uh, I can always pull bulk down from the shelf as well. Okay. Supreme Rivalry has the better hits, Anthony Hamer. Break cards look like something my six-year-old sister would make. <laughs> All right, James O'Brien. That's our new J-Box because there's not enough room on the table. It's incredible. I can see that it's a Golden Lugia. 
All right, and now we're doing a refresh. The line is very short. Uh, we're at 150 minutes, which means there's 30 minutes left. Break cards kill my dog. My strokes have better hits, says Cursebot. Hey. <laughs> What's up, LTV Leomon? Leomon? <laughs> After James, we have Adam Vinson, who says, One EV hero, sniper. Sniper, no sniping! You got it. Sleep. Hopefully some more EV heroes in the mail soon. What do we got? We got, ooh, the Flourishes. When's the giveaway? So the giveaway takes place tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is the third night, and that's the night that we're giving it away. So it was a three-day giveaway. I advertise it for three days. Snorlax is going back to sleep. What? Snorlax uses sleep talk. Joshua Maldonado says, One evolutions pack. You got it, Mr. Joshua. You got a diglet. Once she's had Duck Trio, she can't return to Diglett at home. All right, here's a Charmander. Mr. I'm so bored. Play some hype music. This music is hype music. What are you talking about? Joshua Maldonado. Jonathan Todd. John Loman. You must be in the other box. Yep. I might still get like three or four though. Here's Joshua, jo Jose, John Hickapi. Here we are, Joshua Maldonado. I was having trouble there for a minute. I was like, where the heck do you go? Reverse hollow Diglett, wow. Ricardo Lycia says, One XY Evo, Ricardo Lycia, do you still have my PSA 7 Dark Dragonite? I won on the live custom booster the other week. Uh, if you didn't have me ship it, then yes, I still have it, okay? If you didn't have me ship it, then you still got it. Get off my leg here. Go to a different state because ain't no one paying that child support. <laughs> what? I don't think you can dodge child support by moving to another state. Can we get another evil pack? Yeah, you can get another evil pack. I need a new bag. Is that Ricardo Lycia speaking? You got Machop. All right, Mr. Machop. He's smiling. Andre Kakuna, Caterpie, Charmander. He says yes. Oh, thank you for letting me know. Oops, oops, there it goes. All right, new bag. I'm thinking about ordering a new laptop, new streaming laptop, and streaming some video games sometime. Mister, I've dodged many things in my life, including taxes. What? All right, Ricardo Lycia. You're in the R box. Ah. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a tax. A PC would be better, says Benny. All right, quick, give me my PC. I don't know, mister. So, after Ricardo Lycia, we have Targon's Tavern. He wants a Ghost of the Past. And three Japanese team-up. Okay, Ghost of the Past. Three team-ups. How do I enter the giveaway? To enter the giveaway, you'll want to go to the uh, description, scroll to the top, and read the instructions. It's real simple. All right, let's see what you get. Oh, Dark Magi Magician for the win. Let's see. You ready? Up. Oh. No, Starry Night Arrival. T 
Prime Thief, Metal Foes, Backup Secretary. That's what I need. <laughs> Where are those Ghost Rares? Zero Ghost Rares have been pulled. Thanks for the giveaway. You need to pat your head and rub your tummy at the same time. That's true. Ooh, Gengar Mimikyu. That's right. Team Up won't let you down. Cold. And, ah! Oh, Pikachu Zekrom. Oh, man. Targon's Tavern. You gotta admit, those are nice pulls. Team Up is killing it. TT, Targon's Tavern. Do you have a bag? I don't remember if you have a bag. He says, oh, snap. Yeah, you might not have opened up any of the Japanese tag team, but Japanese tag team is legit very good. It rocks your socks off. Oh, nope. New bag, huh? He says, I have a bag. Oh, let's check up top. Oop. Toro, Teal, Tyler, Tammy Lo, Tito, Timothy, Theo, Tim Lawler, Trevor. Mr. Targon's Tavern, your bag must be in the... It must be in the nickname box. Maybe it's because your name looks like a nickname. Would I be able to see what's in my bag, says Toro Teal. Everyone always wants to see what's in their bag. Hey, Master, what's in my bag? I'm going to go ahead and create your new bag, Tor uh, Mr. Targon's Tavern. I'm going to mark it as baggie number two so that whenever you order shipping, I will go looking for both bags. Can you talk about the current state of politics? Uh, the current state of politics. Ah! How's that? <laughs> uh, you know, I heard that Biden was like at some sort of summit and talked to Putin. And he told Putin, he's like, okay, you can't hack these things. But he didn't suggest like there would be military action if he if he did do uh, hack those things. But also, I, I found it kind of weird because it sort of suggested that Biden cares less if he targets things that aren't on the list. Yeah, I don't know. There's not a lot going on. You checked my bag last night at the end of the stream. Did I? Well, then your bag should be right in here or something, right? I would have returned it to the tea box. Did I just miss it? Tiago, Tayton, Tim Frazier, Team Rocket, Trenton, Tyler Childer, Tenzenberg, Thomas Glucksman, Tim Lowe, Tyler, Tyler, Trenton, Tobias, Tyler, Tristan, Tyler, 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 Teddy Christ, Travis, and Tony. Well, you're not in the tea box. How about the upstairs tea box? Toro Teal. Oh, you are right there. What the heck? How did I miss that? Oh, Mr. Targon's Tavern. So weird. Ginny says, can I get a bag? All right. I'm getting you a brand new bag, Ginny. Sorry about that, Targon. Here it is. I would have threatened a tickle attack. That's right. I would have used a tickle attack on Putin. I'd be like, mm-mm-mm. Ardenan, he says, hey, mister, hook me up with the hot live custom. This is for Mr. Ardenan. Mr. Ardenan, do you have a... Oh, look at that, man. That's really low. Mr., are those PSA cards for sale? They are for sale. Here we go. Oh, Ardenan. PSA 10, number 68. How about that? Whoop. That's Jesse and James, PSA 10 from Hidden Face. Still okay to order? It sure is. We're only 160 minutes in. No, it was supposed to be me, not him. I'm sorry. That's just how it goes. Uh, that's what makes the bot. <laughs> Look at this. They, they encased the card. The card is crushed. I've seen this before. I just saw this. The card is inside of the grip. Oh, my God. See, it never reaches the bottom. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, it's not in there. It just looked like it's in there. Hold on. It only looked like it was in there. 
There, I have an actual slab. I think I sent it back to them though, did I? I had an actual slab that really was encased up there. No, it's good. Okay. It just, that's not right. How's the card sliding up that high? No, that ain't right. Take a look at that. You see that? And this here? That ain't right. It lines up with the edge of this thing. And then when you when you knock it down. Nah, that ain't right. How's it getting up there like that? Look at this. Defective slab, maybe? It, it definitely got enclosed around the card at some point. Maybe we actually knocked it loose. All right, well, anyways, uh, don't crack it open, Ardenan, because it's not going to grade 10 twice, okay? It's the PSA far right end for 320. Oh, this? This is 340 for this light nine tails. Light nine tails 10, and there's the artwork. Mr. Targon's Tavern found that the English equivalent was going for 400. So I have the Japanese one and I set it to 340. And it's really, it's a lovely card. It's from the Neo Destiny collection. See the little double star? Uh, and this is Light Arc Knight. It just looks really cool. Actually, the funny thing is nobody else is grading those. And so I thought, well, why don't I grade them? All right. Crazy. PSA 1, says Alex. <laughs> as long as it's in the case, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know. Alex Casey committed treason. What? All right, and now I've refreshed. I can see that another order or two has come in. Mister, I pulled a God Pack from Shiny Star and got double Zards. Oh, Mister. All right, so let's see. After Ardenan, we have Johnny Ceruzzi. He wants one Unified Minds. All right, Johnny Ceruzzi. Let's see what you get, Mr. Johnny. You pull Victini Tarakian. I'm sorry. All right, and Johnny Ceruzzi. Let's find your bag. Johnny Pyres. Jorge, Jonathan Todd, John Loman, Jorge. Oh, not there. How about over here? He says, I need a new bag if we get a hit. So wait, Johnny Ceruzzi, are you wanting to donate these? How many spots left on NFL Don Russ? What's up, Lenhart? There, there are a number of spots left. I think two guys have bought in. I'll send the video. Oh, that's all right, Casey. You don't need to do that. Can I get some free Pokemon tops? Actually, I would prefer you don't do that, Casey. Donate them. No bag. All right. Sounds good, mister. Next up, we got Alexio Alvarez, who says five more Dragon Ball of these. You got it. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Alexio Oops. One, two, three, oops, four, and five. DBZ are so hard to find in stores and shops. Really? Steep. Steep. And steep. We got them all steeped up. Okay, so Alexio, are you ready for your pulls? We've got Trunks thwarting the Dark Empire. Can we waffle that card like $10 a spot up to $35, something like that? What? Son Gohan, Desperate Last Stand, and Android 17 and 18. Dude. Here's Royal Supremacy. Woohoo! Pack number four Darkness Judgment. Oh my gosh, he's so dark and judgeful. And pack number five, Anticipated Onslaught. 
Is this guy wearing a Speedo? What do these guys wear? How are you supposed to rule the galaxy in a Speedo? All right, nothing too wild with those packs from my point of view. Those, I didn't see any special rares. Whoa, Alex. Mr. Alexio, your bag is huge. I can't find any booster packs in Maui. Sold out in all stores. Scalpers, you know what, mister? I think that they're sold out pretty much everywhere. Pokemon cards are as popular as ever. Alexio, you're going up top now. You got up top status. James O'Brien says five more evolutions. You got it, Mr. James O'Brien. Anything for James. One, two, three, four, five. Torotil says, but it's the dip. I'll have that dip with guacamole. You know, I expect the, I, I was listening to, um, it might've been TCA Gaming, and he's been doing, doing this for longer than I have. And he said, Pokemon card sales always slow down in the summer. And he says, that's probably because people go out more, they go on vacations, they, uh, they hang out, they go shopping, they go to the mall, they go to the movies. And he says, then in the winter, it picks up again because people start buying cards for their kids and for each other and for themselves. And grandma and grandpa give you money and you can buy stuff. So it's probably just a cyclical thing too. Everyone's like, oh, it's the pokey dip. Well, maybe people are buying boats right now to go boating. And when the ice, when the water freezes over, they say, you know what? I want to buy Pokemon cards now. So that's probably, a, at least in part, that's probably part of it. Here we go. We got Professor Oak. Now is not the time for that. Alexio would like to donate hollows and rats. Oh, I appreciate that. Let me just take a few of these out real fast. What about those? Um, here we go. We're just going to take out the bad ones. I don't know how that got in there in the first place. I think those are from custom boosters. I'd like to donate my weak rev hollows. Sounds good. That's a good way to describe them. Look at this Norlax. I didn't know you had that. Here we got a little packet of them. Wow. See how fast a bag can go to a much more tolerable size. Now, I don't know how you feel about these guys. These are from the Ghost of the Past pools. I'll keep them all in your box from now. If you change your mind on them, uh, you can donate those as well. But look at this. Your bag already a much more reasonable size to what it was. Crazy. and. And this removes like, I want to say like five ounces from shipping right off the bat. It's kind of a big deal, actually. Can I donate 30 minutes of watching time for one pack? That is an interesting, uh, <laughs> that's a very interesting uh, request. I, I don't think I've ever had somebody request something like that before. I will watch your channel for 30 minutes. All right, so here we go. James O'Brien. We've got Machamp Break. Oh, lordy. Look at this Machamp Break. Dude. Dude said, watch time for a pack. You know, if there was some way to verify that the person actually watched the channel, uh, I'd be down for that in some sort of exchange rate. Look at this Pikachu. That's a hit. Reverse Hollow Pikachu. All right. Very nice. Also, the Misty's Determination again showing up. And Magnemite, that's my favorite one. Now, of course, it wouldn't be like 30 minutes for a pack. That's a little, you know what I mean? Most people just watch for leisure anyways. What do we got? Rattata. I guess giveaways are kind of like a way to reward people for watching, aren't they? We got a giveaway going on right now. It's a $300 card. Now, I think we're already doing well then. You know, I'm already doing a nice giveaway thing. Charmander, and those are called. Machamp Break was one of the cards I had from Evolutions by signing and giving it to my close friend who moved to Tennessee. It really means a lot to me because of that. What? Machamp Break is so good. Mr. James, that is a really nice Pikachu that you pulled. 
I think he's one of the best cards in the set. That's why I own two of them. Not one, but two of them. He's sitting in my card case right now. After you like the video a hundred times, you get a pack. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Mr. James O'Brien. Sweet. Next up, we got Ralph Dutcher. He says three heroes, three EV heroes for Mr. Ralph Dutcher. One, two, three. Mr. Ralph says sniping time. Easy snipes. Snip. Nice reverse Pikachu. You ready? Cold. Here's Glaceon. Ooh. And you never miss another secret rare, but this time it's not an, uh, one of the alternative arts. It's this guy with the glasses. Ralph, I don't know. We're going to have to cut you off, man. You must be counting cards or something, right? Like from the casino. <laughs> Where do we put your bag? I don't know if I can accept that. I'm trying to remember where we put your bag last. Didn't we put it in a special place? Did you have me ship it? Was that the deal? You missed a Charizard Spirit Link, mister. If it's a non-hollow, I probably did miss it because I don't consider it valuable. If it's the reverse hollow, that's valuable. Well, he did get a snipe. He's doo-doo, though. He is kind of doo-doo, uh, but I got to put him in your bag. I'm trying to remember what your bag was. Your bag's going to say Ralph Dutcher, which isn't our, our bag. I don't see it up top. I feel like I had your bag in the overflow. Emiliano, Evan Shea, David, Fergie Cave, Jacob Kai. Uh, that's not it. Here we are, Ralph Dutcher. Maybe another hit in the box then. Sometimes a box has two hits. Often, if it does, often it's a hyper rare. Now we have Jack Gray, who says two more battle styles. You got it, Jack. Who's getting reported? Dvorak says, hello, mister. Hello, chat. What's up, Dvorak? Steep. My first Evo box, Eevee box, was Gordy and only Gordy. So sad. Saddest name, Gordy. <laughs> he looks like a Gordy. Mawile and Colossal. Not this time, Mr. Jack. Mr. Jack. Are you getting Digimon? You want the Digimons? Who wants Digimons? Let me know who wants Digimons. If enough people want Digimons, I will get it. I don't like Digimons. I am not a fan. But it's not about me. It's, I open cards for you guys. Targon says, I want Digimons. I want to pull Lamello out of Eevees instead. <laughs> Next up, we got Anthony Hameyer. Hameyer. Two Japanese team-ups. I have a bag with two cards in it. <laughs> All right, so... Mr. Anthony. Sleep. How about Naruto cards? Oh, my wife would probably love that. She's making me watch all the Naruto. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, man. That was for Anthony Haymeyer. And I'm afraid these are, that's a cold round. She's making me watch all the Naruto shows with her right now. We're like in season two or something like that. Believe it. That's all I know. I will sneep every single Digimons I can buy, mister. <laughs> all right, what do we got over here? Please get MetaZoo. I don't know. MetaZoo, it doesn't even have like a TV show or anything related to it. I think that if King Pokemon wasn't hyping up MetaZoo, I don't think MetaZoo would have any legs to stand on. You got about 620 more episodes. Yeah. <laughs> Alex says Metapoo. 
So we got Jesse Salinas who says four battle styles. You got it, Jesse. Wait until you get to the Rock Lee fight. One, two, three, four. If Met be honest with me, guys. If MetaZoo was not being hyped by King Pokemon, would you even know about it? You wouldn't even know about it. No one's ever heard of it. As far as you know, it's this obscure third person third party uh you know, it's got no cultural relevance, no no video game, no TV shows. It's really just and I, I, I'm not sure if it's even as good as, like, Pokemon is in his creativity. But if King Pokemon wasn't, uh, I'm not going to say shilling for it, but if he wasn't promoting it, you just wouldn't even know about it, to be honest. So that really concerns me. And he obviously, he clearly has a lot of sway over what people what people think is going to be interesting. But, you know, I think he's, um, maybe he's a bit, I don't want to use the word, uh, well, I know, I know what I'm trying to say. I think people see, like, they're looking for opportunity to invest in something when it comes to graded collectibles. And you'll get hyped over nothing, especially when something seems new, because you'll think, well, that's going to make all the money for me. But I, for me, it, it, sees, it, it makes me very uncomfortable when, it, when we talk about something like MetaZoo, because, you know, with Pokemon, I feel like you get a company that's been doing this for a long time. They understand that there's a secondhand economy. They're in it for the long run. What is that? Pachirisu. And they have a very established brand that's not going anywhere. You know, there's there's many reasons why I trust Pokemon cards so much. We could open MetaZoo just because you guys want to open MetaZoo. It's, it's, MetaZoo is trash just like NFTs. Both are schemes. No, I, I don't think MetaZoo is a scheme at all. Uh, I think MetaZoo is very serious. Uh company that wants to sell cards it's just that i tend to open cards that i think are worth opening basically like in terms of collecting and holding as a long-term investment and i just can't say i'm comfortable with metazoo i think i'm more comfortable with digimon than metazoo because a uh, digimon they've got an actual movie and tv show they've they've been around at least somewhat metazoo is so brand new but everyone's it's everyone's wanting to jump the bones off of MetaZoo because uh, they want to be first to something. And it's like, for all you know, it's totally inflated in price already from all this, the people having the same thoughts you are. You're all having the same thoughts. I'm going to get MetaZoo. It's brand new. It's not Pokemon. It's going to be a competitor, right? We love new, just like sexy new girlfriends, right? But sometimes you have to lose some money to realize it wasn't a very good investment. You know what I mean? Next up is... Uh, I'm sorry. Let's get this in the Jesse Salinas bag. <laughs> Digimon is an actual franchise that is making a comeback. I want Digimon. Yeah, I'm not as big a fan of Digimon, but if, if enough people are wanting it, then that's, that's how I'm supposed to provide it, and that's how it's supposed to work. Jesse Salinas. I can't even put Jesse up here. It's too full. So Jesse Salinas is being moved to this overflow box over here. There's too many J's, man. There, there's so many J's. Look, this box is almost full. These are all J names, and it's almost full. I know about MetaZoo because of Gary King Pokemon. Uh, same for me. I only ever heard about it because of him. Other than that, there's card games that come and go all the time, and it's, it's that power of... You know, he's very... Let me say this. He's very new to, like, YouTube... I think that he's going to learn over time how to be more nuanced with with uh, promotional stuff. You know what I mean? Who knows? Maybe he is being paid to promote it. I could be wrong. He says he's not, and I, I believe him when he says that. So Mr. Nicholas says, NBA hoops, new bag. Please open my Don Russ pack, says Nicholas Lenhart. Yeah, we could do that. Why not? Just for you, I'll take a gamble on it. So I'm going to open one of the NFL optics. This one's going to be Mr. Nicholas Lenhart's optic. We're going to open one of them early. 
Can I peep that XY list? Uh, it's approaching 18 packs, but it hasn't hit 18 yet. So I'm only doing this for you, Nick. I won't do it for anyone else. Just one of them, okay? And the others are still available for sale. And really, this is to just contribute to the hype to opening these. I want to see them get opened. All right. Please open my Don Russ. He also wants NBA hoops. How much hoops did you order? Five of them? Give me a minute. Yeah. Well, which ones did you order? You ordered the 1920 ones? I think you ordered the 1920 ones. Give me a minute. There we go. So this is what we're opening for you. Does that look right? Let me know if that looks right, Mr. Nicholas Lenhart. My PSA return has been gone for seven months. Unable to change addresses, Daniel Garcia. Be sure to call them, okay? So, Nicholas Lenhart, these are right? Okay, cool. He said yes. We'll start with your NBA hoops, okay? And then we'll open up your very exciting Donruss Optic. Mister, you should get some Hallmark cards for the stream. What? <laughs> what? Steve... Did anyone win the giveaway, says Brandon Russell. It's not done yet. We're still gathering people uh, into the giveaway, so you have a chance to join still. On the third day, which is tomorrow, that's when the giveaway will actually be handed out, okay? All right, here we go. So, Frank and Maxi, Duncan Robinson. Oh, this looks cool. Jimmy Butler. Oh, snap. Okay, fancy card. We got Shy, Gilgius, Ursain, Quinn, Cook, and Zero Gravity, De'Aaron Fox. How about this? Larry Nance, Buddy Heald. Here we go. Rookie Kevin Porter and rookie DeAndre Hunter. I would love to buy a Get Well soon card from you, mister. My neighbor ate a bad ham. What? Okay, there we go. This seat saved for Jimmy's mom. Kevin Looney, Dennis Smith, Kobe White, and Thaddeus Young. So Thaddeus Young. That's a Kobe White rookie, huh? It's very interesting. There we go. Last pack. Bismarck Biombe, Bo, Josh Jackson, Bol Bol Rookie, and Pascal Siakam, Special Hollow. Still no Zion Williamson. We haven't opened too many of these, actually. We've opened... No, that's not true. We've opened these very steady. Uh, I, I think I, it's just the case that I've, I've purchased a lot of these. So there's a lot of room for a Zion Williamson to pop out. Are we mainly looking for rookies in these packs? Yes. Rookies, and apparently rookie Zion Williamson is the hit. Okay, so we got some nice ones over here. Jimmy Butler. Now for this Don Russ pack. These are real expensive. They're $52. We're going to sell out the rest of the packs as a box break. This pack's really strange. It's got long sleeves to it. From the sides there. You ready? These are so cool. Look how many cards it is, too. It's, it's so many. So we got Odell, TJ Watt, JJ Watt, <laughs> Patrick Mahomes, Teddy Bridgewater. Here's your, is this your rare card? I think this is his rare card right here. It is Dak Prescott. Very nice. Dak Prescott. Unfortunately, there's no number back there, okay? So it's not a numbered card, just a regular one. We also got KJ Hammer, Juju Smith, Devontae, AJ Brown, Keenan Allen, and Mark Andrews. 
Dude, my homies. A lot of big names. Now, the goal with these would be to pull, what, the numbered cards? I don't know if they have a... Uh... Well, that says Rated Rookie right there. So these are going back into the pack that they came out of. Uh, we have your rarer card out. Let's see if I can find your bag over here, actually. So my impression, we did not pull anything crazy out of there. And that could mean that there's, there's still something crazy in there. So Nicholas Lenhart, let me get you a fresh bag. We're not going to open any more of those packs. The rest of these have to sell off on this list, okay? That's what has to happen. And then we'll open the rest of those. He says it wasn't bad. Well, I'm not saying it, it was bad at all. All I'm saying is that I didn't see a signature card come out. I didn't see a numbered card come out. Let's go ahead and get your name down. Mister, you should invest in a racehorse. That would be that would be really billionaire of you. Oh, I would, but I'm not an expert on horses. There you go. So this is our sports card box. I put it over here where it won't be disturbed and it sits there nice and clean and safe. There you go, Mr. Nicholas. That was pretty cool, huh, guys? So I wanted to show off the Don Russ Optic. We're at 187 minutes now, huh? Let me go ahead and refresh. I can see there's some large order that seems to have come through. Let's see what it is. Thanks for that, mister. That was cool. I think it's really cool. Every time we do a box break on the sports, people always get pretty hyped. Now we have an order from Ralph Dutcher. He says two each of the hoops. All right, Mr. Ralph Dutcher. See, one person opened ho hoops and then everyone's inspired to open them. box he skipped a katie and a curry out of my hoops one time what <laughs> you don't need to make a reverse list for those football cello packs they are totally random it's not like a hobby box where there's only two autographs says guero really are you confident with that i mean i don't know if i i don't know if i would trust that i'm not into sports much mainly mma well we have this right here, mister. What does that look like? That's our UFC box break. It's available right now. You can jump in. Say less, mister. All right, and he said two of the other ones as well, right? True, it's random. Oh, here we are. He says, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, we're doing the UFC split as well. Ralph Dutcher, sleep. One, two, three, four. Josh Richardson, just Joseph, Darius Garland, and backstage pass Draymond Green. <laughs> The UFC box has an autographed card in it, doesn't it? Well, according to the box, on average, there are two autographed cards in the whole box. So, and there's probably some sizable hits in between as well. Here's Gary Harris, Pascal Siakam, Dwayne Wade, and Eric Pascal Rookie. Sweet. Squash our federal sport. What? <laughs> I don't even know what squash is. I'm going to tilt this lamp. There we go. All right, let's see what's in the other hoops. We're looking for LaMelo Ball, right? Malik. Zion Williamson. So this is what people are trying to pull out of the 2019-2020 uh, packs right now. He also gets Aaron Nesmith and Obi Toppin Rookies. All right. 
Mr. Cello packs are totally random because they don't guarantee anything like autos or memorabilia patch cards. Hmm. True, but you know, I wouldn't expect like two very large hits to be side by side. I mean, I could explain the math as why it can't be that way, but I, I don't know. <laughs> Tobias Marquez, Tyrese Maxi, and Desmond Bain. All right. Tyrese and Marquez. Oh man, sweet. There you go, Mr. Ralph. You got a huge bag, dude. <laughs> Ralph, you've been going deep. Whoa, you're ready to ship, man. Thank you, Ralph. Next up, we got Jack Gray. He says, two more battle styles. You got it, Jack. Jack Gray, two more battle styles. Snip. King Dra. Oh my gosh, he's the king of the Dra. Bronzor and Tapu Spoopu. Nah, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. They fire Zion's coach Wednesday. Really? What was he all about? Was he smoking too much pot? He's smoking too much pot. Hopefully next stream or two, we can crack that evil base booster. Hopefully. Now we have Jesse Salinas, who says four more battle styles. Wow. That seems so similar to the previous order that it almost feels like I'm just repeating it. Uh, but I'm not. I can see that it is a second order, in fact. My dog is kicking my side of my body. Let me sleep, dang it. Ah, darn it. Freaking animals. Sleep. Would you keep the XY sealed if someone asked? Yeah, you can request a seal pack. Nothing wrong with that. Here it goes. Slow, bro. Mustard. Mimikyu, oh, you didn't tell me you were going to pull Mimikyu. And Karina's focus. Looks like the Mimikyu is going to be the pull. And we have this J box. This new J bulk box. Oh, I actually like this song that's about to come on. Yeah, this is actually pretty catchy. Next up, Sylvester Sands. Master, can I get the early junk box off the window? If not, refund. Um, so you can have the next jump junk box. Nobody else has said they're gonna order it. I need time to fill it though, okay? You know what would be smarter? I'm just gonna print you a label. How about that? That's smarter. Give me a minute. Have we actually shipped you before? Let's see if we've shipped you before. Uh, we have shipped you before, very good. Wow, why is it so expensive to ship to you? I don't get it. You and the other guy cost me, like, extra. All right, let me just write junk down there. All right, so this junk box won't be ready for, like, a day. And Mr. Juan Garcia, who says one live custom booster. Mr. Garcia, what's up, man? Doot, a pupitar. I'm sorry. Woo, how's it going, Mr. Garcia? Probably Biden inflation. <laughs> yeah, apparently there's a lot of inflation. Here we are, Mr. Garcia. 
It's funny, I bet your bag's primarily made out of uh, uh, hollow cards you've pulled out of the live custom boosters. Any word on Chilling Rain? Chilling ra Rain's on the way. And Jonathan Morris, you know what? We're getting pretty late. I'm going to go ahead and call no more orders. Jonathan Morris says another spot in the XY break. All right. No more orders, anyone. We're just going to uh, start wrapping up now. There we go. So we're on 13, and uh, it moves along steadily. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh and see who's left. Have a great night. Hey, you have a great night. Well, let's see, there might be another order or two to go through. If it'll load, there it goes, Jesus. Nathan Longoria to My Little Ponies. You got it, mister. Mr. Nathan, one, two, three, four, five. And another five. All right, this is the base set for the My Little Pony card set. And it almost makes me wonder if maybe the cards improve in style in the next uh, booster box. You'd be surprised. We've opened quite a few of these, actually. Just pushing these down so they're easy to trim. All right. Snip. 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 All right, we got the trims. Yellow par Paris Bright. What a name. Pack number one is Cole. Pack number two, Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie Ice Cutter, mister. All right. All right, that's, oh, that's cold, right? Yep, cold. Fluttershy Guidance Counselor. Mr. Guerrero says, are you running the giveaway tonight or when? We're going to run it tomorrow. It was a three-day giveaway to give plenty of people time to jump in because it's a real expensive item this time. I want everyone to have a shot at it. And it'll be really cool when it's time to find out who pulls it. All right, cold. Cold. Cold, and, oh, there we go, Featherweight. You know, it's interesting. I think I've seen all the hollow cards from this collection. I feel like I have. Keith says, I still need to enter. Keith, what are you doing, man? Nathan Longoria. He should be over here. Here we are. Mr. Nathan. Jack Gray, he says, where's the hot ones? One more Battle Styles. Are we on a Battle Styles cold streak? Do the My Little Pony go into the junk box? Yes, My Little Pony bulk would normally be thrown away, but lucky for you, it goes into the uh, junk box. Jack Gray, Mr. Jack, you got the shinks. All right, now when I refresh, I shouldn't see any more orders. Listen to that music. Doo, 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 doo. That's it. Another successful night. Wow, man. Three hours and 20 minutes. Well, I'm off to go relax and maybe play a video game, and then I'm going to do some shipping. So another night's gone by. I want to thank you all for watching. If you have not hit the subscribe button, I hope you will. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers, and I can't do it on my own. 
I got to have you guys help me. So I hope you guys will consider that. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the final day of the giveaway for that naughty Grimer. And uh, we'll be opening more cards. Keith says, Mr. No WTF. Keith says, three more hoops. Oh, give me a minute. Keith, I called no more orders. Let me see if I can find it, though. Yeah, it's not in yet. So that's just that's just the way it works. Uh, when you send an order, it doesn't always show up right away. And we are past the three-hour mark. I'll give it like another minute, okay? Yeah, it's still not showing up. What hoops were they? Maybe you can just tell me what the hoops were. Can you tell me what packs they were? Were they the 1920 packs? I have a feeling they were the 1920 packs. Snipping his little butt. Snip. Snipping his little head. Snip. How to enter the giveaway for new people. The way you enter the giveaway, you need to go to the description and go to the top of the description. And there'll be some simple instructions. You just click on a link to a video and leave a comment on that video. Mr. Say My Little Pony. My Little Ponita. I just watched a 15 second ad. Sorry, sent to someone else. Yes. Oh, I see. You're saying you sent it to the wrong person. These were the ones. Mister, I just, I just bought 36 Evo packs. Nuh uh He's teasing me. Those UFC cards are worth money? I hope so. <laughs> I think they are. So let's see, let's see. Keith says, yeah, I'll go ahead and open them, Keith. Are you ready? So Keith is ordering the 1920 hoops, and I'm going to open them for him. Here you go, Keith. Oh, Keith. Good luck, Keith. Keith, I trust you'll pay for these. That's why I'm opening them ahead of time. Let's see what you got. Davis, Jeremiah, Daniel Gafford rookie card, and Bismack Biombo. That's a special hollow. What's that music, man? One Celestial Storm pack. Pack number two. Langston Galloway and J Jalil Okafor. We then have Cam Reddish Rookie and Eric Gordon Special Hollow. It's like a chrome hollow. All right. Last round, you ready? We got Joe Harris, Kahi Leonard, Anthony Davis, and Gorgui. <laughs> I've never heard of that one. I'm probably butchering the names. I apologize. <laughs> Anthony Davis. All right, there you go, mister. I wonder why these collectible cards don't come pre-sleeved or something of the sort. Nah, half the fun is sleeping it yourself, man. <laughs> Mr. Knows Hoops takes priority over sleep. What's well, the last order? Dutch wants to make one last order. It's, it's cool. All right. Now it is time to go to sleep. All right. Well, not go to sleep. Now it's time to take a break. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys.